Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Um, good morning. I'm Amanda Panda. Welcome my, to my stream. Oh, my hair is like <laughs> making me like. Okay, anyways, <laughs> it is early for me for this panda, anyways. Um, I hope you all have a great morning or a great evening, depending on where you are. Um, please let me know how the AV is. Um, let me just say hi to my awesome chat. Um, hi, Kev Meeple. I'm sorry, your stomach is already growling. It's going to growl even further as we play. <laughs> hi, Estefania. We are definitely going to get you on the stream sometime. Deadpan, GB Glazier, Ben Osteen is joining us and doing some coloring while watching. Thank you so much for being here, Ben. Um, it's just a coloring book, but that is awesome. Yay, we can hear you well. Looking good. Thank you so much, Ben. Um, Hi, Frank Tries. Welcome, welcome. Yay. Uh, so I have amazing people with me today. Um, I have the designers of Steam Up and Moni, the Game Freaky Girl. Hopefully, as uh, she get her technology to work, um, hopefully, you know, it didn't hear her say anything bad about <laughs> technology or something last night. We shall see if her uh, computer wants to work with us. But let's go ahead. Uh, let me go ahead and clean some of the stuff up I have on my stream so that I can see all of you. This is going to be so much fun. A game about dim sum. Sign me up. Yes. Okay. So hi, Dutch Yoto. Welcome, welcome. Let's bring on um, our esteemed guest, the designers of Steamed Up. We have Pauline hi. and Marie. Yay. Hello. <laughs> Hello, ladies. And we'll bring on Monique as soon as she is available. Um, I, last night, I went and I did prep for this, <laughs> for this show. I bought some dim sum. Looks and so delicious. A lot of this is going to be seen in the game. I do believe Sha Jiao, the, the shrimp one, right, is in the game. Wait, yeah. no, that's not Sha Jiao. This is Sha Jiao. Yeah. Um, and then we have Sao Mai, which is yeah. the meat one, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have the Ta Sao Bao, which is the um, barbecue pork bun, right? Mm -hmm. And then is the Phoenix Claw, is that chicken feet? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't get it. My mom gets it all the time. Um, and then some other favorites, uh, Shen Sui Jiao. Basically, it's like a pork and mushroom in a fried mochi type dough, which is amazing. This is another favorite of mine. It is daikon or white turnip cake. Um, Lobo gao, which I love. And then I have tang fen, which is like a long noodle, which has different fillings in it. Um, I always like it with shrimp, but it sometimes has beef, sometimes has pork. And then for dessert, we have, of course, dan ta, your egg tart. So ooh, I can't get this in frame. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Professional streamer. But there is your variety pack of dim sum, um, which I will be eating right after the stream. <laughs> <laughs> But it's so yummy. So what uh what are your favorites? Like normally in Cantonese dim sum, you do not get all of that. You get like three things, share it, have a nice breakfast or brunch, right? Mm -hmm. uh, well, for my family, uh, there's like nine of us. And we all live oh. together. So when we go to eat dim sum, we order more than three steamers of food. <laughs> <laughs> so we usually order maybe around 10 steamers of food and it includes whatever you just mentioned. Yeah. And then um, in addition, we do also ordered another dim sum, also known as sticky rice. Yes, yes. And that is uh, glutinous rice wrapped in uh, lotus leaf. So. Yeah, yeah. And um, we like most of the time there is a festival, um, an Asian festival where we do the triangular sticky rice and then we um it can be savory or sweet and you would steam it and you eat that um during the festival i don't usually eat it during dim sum i usually eat it during the festival but everyone does it the same now i have to say between me and my mom we'll get 10 different dishes <laughs> just because okay. my mom likes variety and then we'll have it for lunch and dinner and everything the day after. But yeah, normal people don't do that. They have like a, you know, at least one per person. <laughs> what about you, Marie? Uh, I think my favorite is actually egg tart, the, the one that you have right there. Um, yeah, it's, yeah. it's such a unique, it's more like a bakery item, but it's, it's it such a unique bakery item in the dim sum so I, I love it like even outside when i don't go to a dim sum restaurant like sometimes you get order from bakery yeah. and in asian bakery so i loved it yeah 
I definitely I like the Portuguese style more than this style. Have Have yeah. you had? Yeah, that's the yeah, burnt. That is almost like a cream brulee. You have a burnt topping. Yeah, of it, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the The custard area is a little bit different. The outside is a little bit different. Mm. Um, but it's so good. I know I have a cousin that can eat like twenty of those egg tarts in one sitting. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's a lot. lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's a it's definitely a story we tell in nurse family. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So we have Monique, the game free geek girl. I see her. Uh, we will bring her on. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yay! Hi, Monique. How are you? Hi. I've just been like low key listening to y'all chat about food and looking at your food in the camera, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I ate this morning. But at the same time, I'm like, why did I eat? <laughs> <laughs> um, let me just quickly say hi to some people who have come in into chat. Hi, Frank. Frank tries. I think I already said hi, but hi again. Hi, Strawberry Six Two Six. Um, is that? I think that's like an area code. That's cool. Hi. Um, haven't seen you before. Welcome, welcome. Hi, the game covered. Deadpan, and there it is, Monique in the chat, and that's how I saw her. I was like, oh, I'm not looking at my. <laughs> no, you're fine. Hi, Monique. Uh huh. No, no, no. I was gonna say you have like some you have like some really fantastic people watching in chat right now. Yes. Uh, I want to give like a secret shout out to like Kev Meeple. Have you seen them on Click Clock TikTok? No. Okay. I just got on to Click Clock TikTok. Basically, oh. Click Clock is uh, the way Ruel Gaviola says TikTok. So I just yeah. joined like yesterday. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm still adding people absolutely follow two people in particular that are actually in chat right now and they are some of my favorite friends they're some of my favorite homies like uh plumpy temple is like one of my favorite people yes, from board games I follow him. they make like yes the super awesome dad jokes uh <laughs> one of the first board game click clockers tiktokers uh out there does really fantastic work so if you're on tiktok definitely uh follow plumpy temple and definitely follow kev meeple who makes these really incredible little cin cinematic trailers for board oh, games Ooh. i follow him on youtube for his cinematic trailers for sure yeah, yeah. so cool all right <laughs> sorry <laughs> i just wanted to say hello to some homies i'm sorry i quite you plays um hopefully simple uh let's see just scrolling down everyone is now hungry we did our job yes everybody <laughs> did job. Good job. <laughs> i am me oh yeah dim sum luckily i can get it to go um so yeah but yeah, we miss the uh, cart ladies for sure. <laughs> oh yes, the cart lady. <laughs> yes. Hi, Tom Posh. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's funny. Yeah, but um, one thing I will always remember about dim sum is the Cantonese old people going in and not waiting in line <laughs> for a table and just walking in and <laughs> seating themselves because they've been doing it for so long, or they, you know, they get cozy with the owners or the managers and they just like go in and I'm like, okay, it's old people. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> yeah, I can't yeah. wait to be that old. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have I, to speak I, Cantonese though, because like it, it's kind of a little bit of like, they, they, they do like it when you speak Cantonese. They, they just, they're a little bit nicer to you. I just meant like in general, like there's a, comic his name is nick schwartzen where it's just like he had a joke about like getting a camaro or like a corvette like when they're super old and just getting tons of speeding tickets and like <laughs> they're like do you know how fast you were going he's like i'm old it was like, <laughs> I'm like that's brilliant i am going to go and just start like trying on like costumes and walking around doing my shopping in the grocery store they're like well, yeah, you're for the children i'm like i'm old <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be in onesies walking around. They're like, "Why are you?" <laughs> Monique's gonna be an awesome, awesome Baba Yaga old person. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm gonna cast some spells. It's gonna be great. Doesn't matter that I can't do that now. <laughs> when I'm old, I'm gonna know how. <laughs> yeah, as soon as she hit a certain age, it'll be automatic. She'll learn. <laughs> um. What is it? Oh yeah, Estefania loves Kev Meeple's gets too. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. What is it? Okay, and apparently, I'm playing the gambler. I don't know what that means yet, but dibs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! I think Estefania was talking about the old people skits. Uh, how he talks about stealing everything because he has paid for things for a long time. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, Ambi apparently loves dim sum so much that she learned how to say ice water in Cantonese and count to 99. I know Mandarin. I don't know Cantonese. I was never taught, it, uh, taught that. But yeah, it'd be good to know some Cantonese phrases uh, for dim sum at least. So uh. I don't speak. Uh, I don't speak any Mandarin, but like, I mean, I could take it, but I feel like I need to know it more than I do to start because you're either Mandarin or you're Mandar out. <laughs> <laughs> that's, um, that's a good one. <laughs> uh, stuff in, uh, stuff oh, in, uh, yes, yes, she's right. He says, I'm dying, not I'm old. He says, I'm dying. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it does make you, it does make you pe people think that you have cancer or something. So then they give you a lot of, you know. Tom Posh, you can't ban hosts. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, Monique, did you see Tom Posh actually punned in someone else's stream? And I was like, <gasps> Tom Posh punned. I saw see, it. I saw it. See, it's out there. See, puns mm -hmm. are not a punishable offense. <laughs> but I don't have a pun counter because I don't pun. But Monique making fruit. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So, um, Pauline and Marie, what made you both decide to uh, make a board game? Um. I guess we are we feed on each other for board games. We love playing board games, and then one day we were like, "Oh, wouldn't it be really cool if we uh, create our own board game and you know, and then to um, share with the community?" And then we were like, "Okay." And then, uh, but what kind of theme should we do? And uh, it happened to be like on my board game table, the one I'm, I have my computer on right now. It has a drawing of my childhood drawing of like dim sums of different. Um, them some dishes and i was like oh this would be a perfect idea because it's something that we know so much of and we grew up with and uh and that is how the dim sum theme game came about yeah there's mm -hmm. also not a lot of you know asian like to us like there's not a lot of asian theme board games out there especially in english yes. so we're like okay let's create something that's authentic and yeah just share it you know maybe it yeah. might be fun like it might like you know it's not available but maybe some like people out there would like it right so yeah. it turns out that like everybody loved them some it's just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah because and i love that, that you know you're both asian doing an asian themed and not like some white guy out there and then you both it's women too like you're both women so that's awesome that we get more female board game designers out there too. So I'm, I'm very excited for this game. Um, do you know when your Kickstarter is going to drop? Because this is coming to Kickstarter. Yeah, well, we, we plan to um, launch it in Kickstarter around October, 2021. Uh, the date still needs to be set. So, um, but it'll be in yeah. October of this year. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay, I'm so excited. Um, I hope the, the hype uh, the dim sum hype will continue. Uh, maybe by October, we might be able to go get dim sum in person. That would be interesting. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and then let, uh, maybe on the Kickstarter, we do a live stream on a dim sum restaurant. <laughs> yes. And we're going to have all the dim sum, the cart ladies come and say hi. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So <clears throat> I've never been to a dim sum restaurant. I've had dim sum, but it's been like either takeouts or like at a like more like buffet variety place. So what do you mean by carts? They're literally ladies pushing carts that are heated from below and they have all of the steamed uh, uh, baskets the in covered so that it keeps everything warm. And then they roll in and then like for me, who don't speak <laughs> a lot of Mandarin, they'll open all the carts and you just look at what you want and you point, I want that one, I want that one, and that one, or you tell them. There's also carts that they will grill things right in, right off to the side, like the the um, turnip cake. They'll gr they will grill right off to the side of your table. Um, they they'll have uh sorry my okay they'll have uh vegetables that they'll grill off to the side. They'll have carts full of rice porridge or um soy uh soy soup like a sweet sweet dessert soup or they'll have carts full of desserts so jellos almond jellos mango puddings 
um, egg tarts and stuff like that, that they just push around and you just say, I want two of those. or I want one of those. Like me and my mom are like, we want three turnip cakes because we're going to take two of them home. <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards. But yeah, you just grab them and then they put the, the metal steamer baskets out in front of you. And then as soon as you're done, you just stack it off to the side and someone comes and grabs all the empties. Um, and they put, they basically do a stamp onto your card. So they have like small, medium, and large. So if it's a more expensive dish, it'll, they'll just stamp it in the large area and then mostly in the small or medium area. And then they just add up the number of dishes times um, the cost. And then that's how you pay for it. But yeah, that's it. That sounds amazing. <laughs> that sounds, why have I never, I've, I just, I am so ready for this. Yes. <laughs> Monique, when you come, did, to, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I'm excited. Like, how did that, how, what was like, how did dim sum come to existence? Like in that format, in that way? Do you know, is there like a history behind dim sum restaurants and like how it came to be served that way? Do you got, do you ladies know? I actually don't know how it becomes serving this way. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Monique it's okay. loves the history. I know it's a it's a Cantonese style of having breakfast or brunch. So mm -hmm. it, it's probably started in either Canton, Singapore, or Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. And basically, um, they would go, uh, you know, like a couple would go, or or you would go alone, like a lot of businessmen would go alone. They'll take like they'll get a couple of dishes, mm -hmm. like two to three you know, read their paper, eat their dim sum and drink. But then it's changed completely um, once it hit like mainland China and Taiwan and LA, um, where now it's like you have a family of four, your whole family goes and you get a whole bunch of dishes. And each of the steamer baskets, baskets usually have three to four of that item. So you can share. Um, so everyone gets like, it's like almost like eating a bunch of appetizers or, um, there's a like there's a Spanish or Hispanic Tapa. version tapas, tapas yeah tapas, tapas yeah basically Asian tapas, and you just get a small bite of everything, which is amazing because then you get a large <laughs> variety of stuff, and this is usually cut in half, so you know, and things will be cut in half, and you know, it, it's just it's just wonderful. Sorry, <laughs> I'm like no, my my camera's like focusing on the food, and then the lighting changes, and your camera knows what's important. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like me, food. no food. <laughs> it's like food. Where's the food go? I don't know, but panda's a snack. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you yummy Moni. Uh, um, mo, mo. Okay, so yeah, so uh huh. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I just I, I wanted to know because it seems like, especially like dim sum, where it all looks like you know appetizers and like this huge like in my brain like this mm -hmm. huge like kind of array of food, and you have different carts and different parts mm -hmm. of the meal and things like that and like a lot of them they're they're made and formed by hand yes mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. yes. so i just imagine yes. like the, the amount of work that goes into preparing that much food in that sort of array that it start off something very small in family kitchens and homes or like for like festivals feasts and like uh special occasions or was it something that was made for because like that to me like that whole experience sounds like a royal experience because you're being brought out like all these dishes of food and like just being served in such a wonderfully elegant and like like fancy to me like kind of way so like was it like something that was first for royalty only and then was kind of brought home I'm just I'm just curious and now I have something to read about later yes <laughs> you'll have to you'll have to read about it and let us know <laughs> yes sorry, 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 sorry. Right. We're, we're just gonna live it and <laughs> yes let's live it let's live it I'm sorry yeah, I'm no, sorry, no, no it. worries. It, it, it's fascinating, like, how anything comes about, language, food, that type of thing. Um, yeah. Because I'm sure, like, if someone from Hong Kong came and saw the way L.A. people do dim sum, it's going to mm -hmm. be, like, a shock to them um, because it's not exactly the way they did it. And I'm sure there is, like, you know, family places and high, higher-end places for businessmen and stuff like that. But, yeah, all of the food that I showed you is – labor intensive and we were talking about this in, in mm -hmm. before the stream that yeah because um, one of them asked me if i made my own dim sum or i bought it i'm like hell no i'm not making the dim sum it's just way too much work <laughs> because yeah you have to like mix all the ingredients you're packing and um basically doing all of the pleats by hand i mean i'll make wontons but that's like 
basically I, I don't know how they do the mochi one because that one is just yummy and yeah and, and um it is a lot of work uh, i might want to try the turnip cake one time because they make it in a loaf mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you freeze it and gelatinize and then you slice it up and then you um you pan fry it but it's so good um and then like the barbecue bun i have the steamed version which is the one i like but mm -hmm. they also have a baked version that looks like a like regular bun with like the glaze and everything so it's all good there's a whole bunch of different ones that i don't touch there's like there's uh they use uh sugar cane and then they have this like shrimp paste that they like put into a ball on a sugar cane stick that then they cook fry up and they're always like do you want this i'm like no i've tried it before i mean it's okay but it was just like no thank you wild <laughs> that sounds yeah. pretty wild yeah. Pat, you do have a question sorry oh go on i was gonna no, ask uh-huh oh i was gonna ask you how about the exotic uh, phoenix call which is also known for chicken feet have you both tried them or a fan of them no my mom <laughs> okay. loves them i'm not squeamish about food so i'll try like whatever the only thing i think i, I would hesitate and maybe struggle with is balut but then other than that like I'm not too squeamish about trying things so and plus like chicken feet are like very southern mm -hmm. and uh my family is they did a lot of that but i'm sure it'd be very different than like what they would cook <laughs> Yeah. I mean, the people that really eat chicken feet, they put the whole feet in their in their mouth. They like move it around yep. and they spit out clean bones like <laughs> and you're like, whoa, you're professional. <laughs> but yeah, that that's incredible. No, my mom uh, is the only one that eats chicken feet or uh, the pig's blood um, cakes or the little cubes that they put with the white turnip in a soup type of thing. Yeah. I stay away from that too. Uh, but. That one I'll stay away too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat the chicken feet, but I, the, the, the pig's blood, I think I'll pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, in, in, oh, in LA, the it. dim sum restaurants, Stephanie, I was saying chili oil, like we'll have spicy chili sauce or the hot mustard, which is not your French's yellow mustard. This is like spicy um, Asian uh, yellow mustard. But yeah, they'll have that. But I'll just use soy sauce. Um, um, and then, uh, doo -doo -doo. you said, um, uh, Mo, you said there's a question in the chat. Yeah, uh, from Frank tries. They uh, ah. they wanted to know like how they where they came like before they made uh, steam up. Like what led like uh, where was it? Um, what like did what do, do we before? do? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I have words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. What do you do? <laughs> so uh, I'm a. Uh, well, my full-time job on its own, I'm a, an ICU and ambulatory daycare nurse. And then on the side, I was actually a magician and a show producer. So I produced like David Copperfield kind of like um, illusion shows. Oh, nice. And then, uh, so Marie was my backstage and also my assistant, um, along with my sister, YM. But, um, and then so... I kind of, uh, it got too, too big. Uh, and then, so we were like, uh, I think I'll retire, which was in 2018, 2019. And then that's how I started to do board games. So, yeah. so wow, you're still a nurse. A I'm still a nurse though. The still a nurse is a full time, but I mean, this is my side. <laughs> so instead of being a magician, have you been to the magic castle in LA as a yes. magician? Yeah. Yes. I've been in my, yeah, I've been there. Yeah. Yeah, I That's think uh, Pauline brought me there. Did, did you yeah, buy me there last time? Yeah, I brought yeah. you there. Yeah, I got a yeah. VIP card, so it was quite nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And then I attended, um, there's like a magic conference as well in Vegas. So then I went every year. I think I went three times or so. And then I was able to like um, uh, tune in to like David Copperfield's lectures, which was a great experience. And meeting other magicians too was like amazing. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I love this. We're like, it's just like, so what do you guys do before you make board games? Like, oh, we're just professional <laughs> badasses. Oh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <Magically. laughs> yeah. We can make you disappear. You know, all the haters just go, boom, oh, gone. <laughs> <laughs> like, and they don't even have to use a block button. They literally will just make you disappear. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Um, hi, Legends. Um, Ambie says, glancing at the history on Wikipedia, it says it originated from snacks in royal houses and then tea houses serving snacks to visitors. 
I can Ooh, see that. Nailed it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you nailed it. It's definitely a royalty thing. Um, yeah, like there is two teas that are usually normally served with uh, dim sum in LA, at least, mm -hmm. uh, Pu'er and Pu'ju. Um, which mm -hmm. one do you guys uh, or gals usually drink or order? Um, for me, we use uh, Pu'er. Um, and then and that's for Mandarin. And in Cantonese, we say Bowley Ta. So it's close enough. And, uh, <laughs> no, it's but, totally different. <laughs> it, has to, it starts with a P, at least, both of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there you go. <laughs> um, but how about you, Marie? Uh, I usually like the lighter tea. So, um, uh, uh, so like green tea, sort of. Like I, I like that. Uh, the the dark tea that which which you mentioned just now. It's it's too 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 bold for me. <laughs> <laughs> I like the one that has the flowers. The chrysanthemum flowers in it. I forgot which one it is. Yeah. 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 And there's like the Buddha Tie Guanyi. There's that one. And then uh, there's the monkey one. I can't remember. Monk monkey leaves or something. I can't remember. Yeah. Are you both tea drinkers or coffee drinkers? Monique was just drinking a coffee and I'm drinking tea. I am both. <laughs> and uh, Pauline doesn't really drink any caffeine. Oh, right? nice. Uh, yeah. Good yeah. for you. I used, yeah. I used to drink a lot of tea and coffee and then I started to develop an insensitivity to the caffeine. So I, had to, I stopped for at least five years now. Six wow. Years. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how she survived without caffeine, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, as, as a magician and a nurse, especially as a nurse. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Um, Katie uh, Breezy says, that's awesome. My dad was a magician when I was a kid. Super fun memories. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Legends, hi, Legends, says, Pauline, can you saw a panda shark in half and put her back <laughs> together again? <laughs> Next time when money comes, I will make sure I'll, I'll cut her and try to make something out of it. And then, yes! <laughs> and the puzzle game. <laughs> yeah, next time I go up to Canada or Vancouver, I'm going to like hit you both up and we'll do a little a little magic show for everyone. Um, for now, though, uh, let's see. So, um, Monique, have you been to Vancouver before while I do some stuff? Uh, I have not. I've been to Victoria. That's like pretty much the only place in Canada I've gone to. But we went to the Bouchard Gardens, which are lovely. Mm -hmm. That was like, that was like, you know, before Hell's Moving Castle was a thing. So I think I was just destined to like that movie because it just looks so magical and so wonderful. Um, so I, I've always wanted to go back, but uh, I have not been to Vancouver. But I do want to know: is, Sink, is Snakes and Lattes there? Snakes and Lattes in Toronto. Toronto. That's Toronto. the that's the one in Toronto. Yeah, on the East Coast. But me and uh, Pauline and Marie, we all agree West Coast is the best coast. Definitely. Hey, yes. <laughs> 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 I agree. We were just having this conversation. I'm trying to get yes. Benita to move out this way too. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. I mean, Anna Marie already moved out, so hello. <laughs> but okay, so Everyone's this is here. Yeah. This is their beautiful game. <laughs> ben says, West Coast is the best coast. This is their beautiful game. I have it set up like this because I wanted to show you. Look at this. There's cranes, there's a beautiful waterfall. And then if you if I can do it, come on. Why aren't you? Oh, there we go. Whoa. So this <laughs> is a boat that you have to take to go and hike up to their dim sum restaurant. Look how incredible beautiful that is. <laughs> oh my goodness. So cool. Is that your name or is that steam up in uh, in calligraphy? Uh, that's what we anticipate steam up uh, in Chinese. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Look how beautiful this is. Yeah, this is incredible. I love the floating. We're floating on a river. <laughs> yep. So now I'm going to set us back up. Uh, so what is Steam Up about? Uh, so Steam Up is a uh, two to five player light to medium weight dim sum set collection and an action management game where uh, player guests are traveling very far to come to this restaurant and uh, devour as much dim sum as possible at the steam up which is the 
which has earned three Ingot Award restaurant, which is a three Ingot Award restaurant, I should say. And uh, your goal is to have the most satisfied tummy after this um, feast. Oh, tummies. All right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so now that I guess everybody knows a little bit about dim sum, so I'll now bring you to your table. So Yay. I'll press to set up the table here. My and... first dim sum. I'm so excited. <laughs> we'll enjoy a little bit of uh, automated uh, little oh. setup. Oh, my oh. goodness gracious. That looks fantastic. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna probably fangirl all over this. Oh, that looks like my erasers too. <laughs> oh my god, I love the the little wooden uh, steamy yeah. steamer baskets. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Oh my the gosh, box. wow, that was so great. Look at that. And then you can zoom in if you, and then you can see the mm. the five most popular dim sum that were that's been served today in our restaurant, uh, which is the pink one, which is the shrimp dumpling, and. Um, right here and then the yellow one is the meat dumpling xiao mai that uh, you have in your plate too the sticky rice that i was mentioning in the lotus leaf which is the green one and then the red one is the exotic phoenix claw and then the white one which is the juicy uh, barbecue meat bun yeah wow oh my gosh oh my and my you gosh. have the animals of the zodiac look mm -hmm. at this art i'm a food blogger in real life <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Now you get to try it and uh, let us know how you, uh, how, what's your thought? <laughs> I'm not really a food blogger, but I am a bore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It just sounds so much cute. better to say I'm a food blogger rather than to tell everyone what a bore Look is. at this gambler. <laughs> He's so badass. Look at that. Look at that. That's I so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is, uh, there's Pauline right there. She put mm. herself into the game. The angry customer, <laughs> the, the rooster. Oh, and there's Grandpa, the ox. Um, uh, okay, so there's the goat. It, the whole zodiac's gonna be here, or is it only these? Uh, uh, yep. If you zoom out, and then there is the box that has oh, the awesome. other characters as well. And oh um, let me show you. Ah, there's the cheeky. I oh, I really <laughs> commend you. That was probably the best presentation of setup I've ever seen from Tabletop Simulator demo game. This is fantastic. Oh, I mean, granted, I was already all in for this, but now I am just fangirling so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so oh. much. I love to give the shout out and credits to uh, Alexi Menardo, who uh, scripted our Tabletop Simulator uh, game to upload our Steam up into uh, TTS. So yeah, I don't know what to do without him. Yeah, because, um, <laughs> it's just like you know, in the past, like one year, you just need to go online, right? So I don't know what to do without him. <laughs> yeah. And then those little miniatures, um, the, the dim sum and the steamers. And another shout out is to Jose, uh, Jose Shu. He designed it all those uh, 3D modeling. So thank wow. you so much. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, um, seed eater. That reminds me of my youngest. <laughs> so well, what would be in the physical game? Will we have these little um, these little wooden bamboo steamers? Uh, yes. So in this game, those uh, um, wood, sorry, uh, the bamboo steamers are going to be made out of the PVC. So the same material that you see in miniatures. Oh, and then cool. those little dim sum will be made out of a material called TPR, which is the squishies. Which is the oh. same as like the Everdell berries or like the honey buzz um, squishies. So oh that will gosh. be ours. Awesome. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm going <laughs> to eat it. I'm going to eat it. Yeah. Oni's like, I want it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. The high lickability factor is going to be high. It is high. Yeah. So, um, so Pauline, yeah. how do we play this game? So um, first, if uh, Monique wants to come over here, because she doesn't have any player boards in front of her on that side. So got it. Got it. Switch OK. Yeah. So you will know there are two player boards in front of you and of each character, as you already know. And you will choose one out of the two player boards. But I will go in more depth about them and their characters and their scoring mechanism in a little bit. First, we will go through what you need to do on your turn. Oh, so. We'll focus on the seafood lover. If you you can press Alt if you want to zoom in, okay. which is the tiger. The tiger on the bottom yeah. left hand corner, you will notice um, there are five icons, 
And on your turn, you do two of the following five actions in any order, but it must be unique. So okay. from the left to the right, uh, I'll go through each uh, icon first. Um, the first one is uh, a circle, which is a token, food token, with a green arrow, which means towards you. And uh, so you can get one of the food tokens, which are up in the supply area, which is on the top here. And uh, that's the first action. The second action is to draw a fortune card, which are these red fortune cards right here. Okay. Let me just bring them over here. And they are to help you gain more points or make it a little bit harder for your opponents to get their points. And uh, you'll notice um, there is an icon with a spin arrow in brackets. And that means it's an optional action, which means you can rotate the turntable 90 degrees in any direction. So oh. if we focus on the turntable here, you'll see arrows on the corner. So you can basically press and it will turn 90 degrees uh, whatever direction you want so you have that option and uh, because it will you will have access to the food you can only have access to food in front of you okay yeah so, then, so it's like the it's like the the lazy susan in the middle of a big chinese table that yes. we're turning to get all the food and then you have to stop because someone wanted something and then you have to keep continue until you get to the place that you want Exactly. So we try to resemble the experience in the uh, Chinese restaurant. So you don't need to say, oh, can you pass me this? Can you pass me that? You just need to turn the table, right? Yeah. So, and don't what? turn it too fast and make sure you're not hitting water or, or, or tea cups and stuff like that. Yeah. It's all experience, people. It's all experience. <laughs> this, is, mm. this is way better than reality. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> And okay, so now moving on, your third action you can do is to play your fortune card, either from the ones in your hand already or the one you just drew. And then again, you know, in brackets, you can turn the table left or right up to you. But I mean, on tabletop simulator, it's easy because you can press an arrow sign. But in reality, you, in when you get the game, you have to manually turn it. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> okay. And then the fourth action you can do is to draw, uh, sorry, to exchange two fortune oh. cards. What did I do? I do apologize. <laughs> you yeeted. I yeeted that. <laughs> because I was like, I pushed on the arrow and then it like had to load and then I accidentally yeeted the card. Okay, so the fourth <laughs> is the you two can, cards. Yep, you can get rid of two cards to gain an extra food token um, okay. into your hand. And why would you do that? Because that will help you expedite your Fifth action, which is the most important action, is to purchase your uh, st dim steamer of dim sum. So, like you already know, you can only eat the food in front of you. So, right now, um, Amanda only has access to this corner right here from oh. this arrow to this arrow. Uh, uh -huh. Sorry, this line to this white line right here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see yep. uh, right here. Yep. There we go. Mm -hmm. So, a and quadrant then, of the table. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you can only eat this and this. And then uh, let's say right now for this, this steamer here, I'm sharing amongst uh, myself and yours. So if you want to try to speed up and try to eat this before I do, then you'll need to get more tokens faster. Okay. So in this case, in order to purchase a steamer, A, it must be within your fee zone, and B, your tokens, food tokens, must match all the dim sum in the steamer. So in okay. this case, I'll give you an example here. Okay. I want to purchase this steamer here. I grab it and then I pay my tokens, food tokens right here, put it back into the supply. And then I grab my dim sum and put it onto my player board and score my trap, uh, score my points right away. So in this oh. case, you can see the board already has the points on it. So then let's say shrimp dump, uh, sorry, meat dumpling gets me one point here. Shrimp dumpling gets me one point here. And then sticky rice gets me one point there. So a total of three points. Then you will grab your little scoring meeple here. Oh, I have a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you will bring it to the score track, which you had mentioned earlier about the punch, um, the stamp oh, card. Yeah. Oh, right. awesome. <laughs> so you put your scoring uh, meeple there and then uh, you can uh, score your points. And then afterwards, you will lower the steamer counter down by one because you already purchased one. Mm. Okay. 
And then, um, and that is, and then, oh, sorry. And then afterwards, um, that's the five actions you can do. So gain a token, draw a fortune card, play a fortune card, exchange two fortune cards for a token, or you purchase uh, a steamer of dim sum. And then afterwards, you do two actions. I do two actions. Marie do two actions. Monique two, does two actions. The first round is complete. So second round and on, one fate card, which are these white cards over here, will be revealed, and it will affect us, all of us, in a good way or a bad way. And then we'll proceed with our two actions. So two, 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 two. We keep playing until one of two ways to end the game. So the first way is is if the fate deck is depleted, so there's no more fate cards, or if this steamer counter goes down to zero. So basically, nothing left on the table to eat. Almost nothing that's available left to eat. And then you'll and then the game will be triggered. And then you everyone will complete their turn. And then you'll do your final tallying, which is also on the score track. You'll notice um, for every food token you have left on your board, is on the bottom left, uh, bottom middle, I should say. For every food token you have left, you will minus one point. But every two fortune cards you have left in your hand, you will gain one point. So, and then at the very end, the player with the most hearty points is the most sad, has the most satisfied stomach, and they win the game. <laughs> but it's interesting. I like how the at the end of your tracks, if you ate too much, you get no points. Mm -hmm. Depending you're... on which character, though. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well... Yeah, so, it's interesting. So, the points is different per character. Mm -hmm. And they all have different abilities in which now I can go through your um, animal play, um, uh, animal scoring system. Okay. So first we will go through your seafood lover. Okay. So seafood lover, so seafood lover love oh. anything dim sum that has seafood in it. Uh -huh. So in this case, you can read, you get one additional hearty point per dim sum you purchase. That is a shrimp dumpling, sticky rice, or meat dumpling. So in this case, as you can see, I already have, so shrimp dumpling, sticky rice, and meat dumpling, I have one of each. So technically, I get three more additional hearty points. So that total gives me a six points right there for this ah, purchase. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And then the picky eater, which is the goat, you'll notice it's question marks. It's because you can choose what you want to eat for that entire row. So similar to the seafood, but then you play, I'm picky. I don't want to eat shrimp dumpling. I want to eat Phoenix Claw instead, all right? So then yeah. you can organize, say, okay, I want sticky. Uh, yeah, you can do it like that. So then you will get a total of five points instead because you put uh, one for meat dumpling, one for shrimp. And then because they're in the top three rows, you get an additional point. And then the last one, sticky rice, only gives you one point. So, so each row must be only one type of dim yes. sum, right? Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Now moving on to the food blogger. Which is food blogger, pig. which is the pig, they love to eat a variety of food. So then that is why the goal is to collect columns. Oh, wow. So every column they complete, they get additional three hearty points. I'm in. So yeah. I'm, in. <laughs> I'm like, just give me a variety of everything. Yes, um, yes. And then uh, the meat lover, the snake, is similar to the seafood, but then you'll focus on three uh, dim sum that is uh, that has meat in it instead. So similar concept to the seafood. And then if we move to Marie, which is the gambler, which she is the uh, mouse the gambler, she will also have the dice. And if you can read on your turn, you can discard two fortune cards to roll the game lucky game die in addition to your two actions. And if the die rolls one, two, or three, you can draw a dim sum from the bag and gain the score and score the hardy points immediately oh interesting so she can do that special action her ability before in between or after her two actions so is this a chili sauce um the start player marker yes it is ah. so someone was someone i think i can't remember it was a in, stephania who had to go oh, yeah. work yeah yeah so she was mentioning yeah chili oil is a uh, is a condiment that we add and ask for the waiter to bring to add um, an extra kick or flavor, enhance the flavor of the dim sum. So yeah, you always why. have to ask for it. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. And that is why it became our first player token. Oh, that's cool. Oh, nice. 
and then the, the grandpa, um, the ox, the grandpa, you know, we have to respect all the elderly so they can basically eat anywhere on the turntable. So, oh. so they have no feast zones because, you know, okay. you're going to respect the elderly, right? Yeah, yeah. But then, um, so they will double their points. Um, so basically, plus one hearty point per dim sum in purchase steamer outside their feast zone. However, they will need to pay additional one token of their choice. Oh, okay. okay. I love that the grandpa looks like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Glasses and everything, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, a, yeah. that's a cool looking dad. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. It's, yeah, that just looks like my dad. I'm like, huh, that's great. <laughs> Grandpa, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, moving on to the uh, magician, uh, which is me. But, anyways, uh, <laughs> so after I purchase a steamer of dim sum, I can swap one of the dim sum for something else on the turntable because oh. my goal is to collect rows of dim sum. Oh, yeah, see. look at all those points. Mm -hmm. At the very end, I get three points. So that is why my ability, once I purchase, I can swap out one dim sum anywhere on the turntable. Interesting. I want to know who the angry customer is based on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's always the uh, angry customers out there who will be like, I don't like the food. The food is not fresh. You know, I don't like this and that. So they, when they purchase a steamer, they can say, I don't like any of these food. Put them back into the kitchen. So which is the dim sum bag. So let's say if they say, I don't like these uh, meat dumpling and the sticky rice, they can put it back into the bag and then shuffle, shuffle. And then draw two new dim sum back out of the bag. And they can put it into and score their points right away. That's interesting. Wow. You know, yeah. um, one other thing about eating at dim sum places is you all have you'll always have those customers that walk to the carts instead of wait for the cart to get to them because they feel like they're like bypassing them and then they'll order and they'll say, I'm in that table way back there. <laughs> <laughs> or they'll always like flag down a waiter like where is this one? And then the waiter has to go into the kitchen and bring it out for them or go run to the cart lady and say, you need to go get to that table. But yeah, there's always those types of people as well. Um, I'm taking so many notes to like not be that jerk at the table. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, all right, all right. The cart comes to you. Got it. <laughs> hey, but sometimes you just have to go for it. Otherwise, the, the food is we're all gone. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, exactly. And then you have to wait for the next batch and you'll be like, oh, I'm already hungry. <laughs> yeah. Right? All right. Dear yeah. diary, I need to work on my sleight of hand to eat dim sum. <laughs> <laughs> Just go with a Cantonese person. They'll go talk uh, and yell at them and they'll just bring you all the good stuff. So <laughs> yeah, You can't be too nice in a dim sum restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> Is this going to be a pledge level? Like, can I back? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Oh, yeah. It'd have to include like your plane tickets to Vancouver and all of that. <laughs> I'll figure it out, but just please, I just don't want to look like a jerk at the dim sum restaurant. <laughs> don't worry. Once you come here, I will definitely bring you out to the best dim sum restaurant. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Road trip. Yes. <laughs> That's why West um, Coast is the best coast. Exactly. <laughs> I agree um, on Frank, that. Huh? Hmm? Uh, Frank, Frank Tri says, as a large person, my life is battle of go to the food or wait to, for the food to arrive. Yeah. Yeah. It's always a battle um, because you know they're going to run out and it's like, oh, <laughs> I just want this one thing. But anyways, okay, so we're picking which one of the two? Yeah. Like, can I pick from the box? <laughs> of course, you can pick from the box. You Let me can, see what uh, the shit food does. Uh, what, my is, what is your zodiac? My favorite is, is Naughty Kid and Magician, but up to you. <laughs> Naughty Kid, um, you may roll the lucky die in addition Blank or one, no action, two or three, rotate the turntable. Five or six, move steamer to the top of another stack. Oh, interesting. I so love you're it. stealing food. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> um, what's the shit do? The little loyal customer. Three points for every purchase of steamer with four. Ah, you just get more points if you can purchase. He's so cute, though. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm guessing Monique, you want to be the um, the piggy. I'm sticking. I'm st I'm sticking with my zodiac. Yeah. Okay. Um, my you... zodiac is the dog, but I kind of want to try the naughty kid. I think that that's going to be so much fun to be <laughs> naughty. So we're going to eat these into the box. 
Yeet. Yeet. Oh, yeah, there we go. Mm, okay. okay, so I will be the grandpa then. Uh, <laughs> so then everybody can respect me. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> I got a dice. What is this underneath my board? Your see. scoring meatball. Oh, oh, my scoring meatball. Did I? Oh, it comes with. Oh, that's so cool. Look at this monkey. Ah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this little piggy went to dim sum. Oh, um, we don't say that because a lot of dim sum is made with pork. <laughs> 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 Man, I'm not. I'm not a piggy eater. I'm fine with it. <laughs> Just, just a little bit of cannibalism with my meal. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is why you notice we say Phoenix Claw and not Chicken yes. Feet. <laughs> oh yeah, because we have a rooster. <laughs> I was gonna ask. I was like, I thought there were chicken feet in dim sum. This looks like a chicken foot, but it says Phoenix Claw. But I mean, okay. So granted, I'm not gonna lie. When you were telling me that the food is heated up from the bottom, I'm sure you meant like, like a, a chafing dish or something it's almost like, like a that. steamer yeah it's yeah. like keep it warm my brain immediately thought baby dragons <laughs> baby dragons <laughs> i wish i just I wish. imagine like these little tiny like tiny little baby dragons just going and then like little <laughs> flames coming up and like heating up the steamer and then they curl up and take like eat a marshmallow curl up take a nap and then like when they're tapped again to like heat up the food they go <laughs> and then like just take a nap again after their marshmallow well, you so, know, but the Dragon Labor Council has outlawed the use of baby dragons, unfortunately. Oh, so. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. This is like this is like probably back when it was a snack for the royals. <laughs> I'm the feeling royals. peckish. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. What do you feel like? Bring the baby dragons right, with the food. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to eat, Your Highness? All oh, that and dim sum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Pum pum. <laughs> Baby um, dragon, get to work. Yes. <laughs> Bring me the dragons. Yeah. I love we want fruit basket medium heat. Too. <laughs> yes, See, yes. that's that's really why dragons went extinct. It's because like microwaves became a thing, and the dragons <laughs> were like, "All right, we can finally die now." Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sad. They just went into hiding. They went into mm -hmm. um, dragon paradise. Yeah. They ate um, their marshmallows. Now they're taking a nap. <laughs> no one's woken them up to heat up food in centuries. Yes. Hi, uh, Buccaneers. Um, I, Monique, you said in the chat that you can't think of fruit basket. You can't stop thinking about fruit baskets now. I love that. Um, that uh, was it. Anime. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's yeah. so good. Um, I Deadpan do asked, "Does anyone watch Food Wars?" I do not. Do you? So I started watching Food Wars because uh, I watch a lot of anime and I watch a lot of anime with my kids. And usually I preview whatever I watch with my kids. But I'm like, this one's about food. No big deal. We watch like the first 30 seconds and I'm like, we're watching something else. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if it's actually bad, but it was very suggestive those first 30 seconds. <laughs> It's definitely adult, um, yeah, and they they no. get angry and abuse. I don't know. Yeah, it's not really for kids. Says yeah. Deadpan. No, I didn't know. I I usually <laughs> do my research beforehand. I am like vigilant, but I was like tired. I'm like, yeah, whatever. That looks good. I like food. Let's watch that. <gasps> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Thanks. It makes me curious then now you gotta check it out <laughs> I know I, I just realized I never gone back I never went back to watch it but after those first 30 seconds I was like I don't know what this is <laughs> <laughs> this is not what I thought it was <laughs> never trust anime alright sorry no. what's next <laughs> okay. okay so uh... okay so uh, now before we begin we do have starting resources uh, oh, on yeah. the top of our player board and then uh, you'll notice uh, for the monkey in this case, you have two different food tokens and you can get uh -huh. two fortune cards. Okay. Uh, so you can grab whatever food tokens you want. Usually you want to, the first steamer is usually the ones in front of you, whatever food token matches your uh, steamers in front of you. Yeah. And then you can grab your fortune cards as well. Okay. Let me draw two. You just press the number, yeah. put your hand over it, press the number. And then you can press L to lock your player board. So then when you 
place your uh, dimsum on it, the, your player board won't shift around as well. Smart. Look at this TTS pros here. <laughs> <laughs> I learned it from other players. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, and have a two great fortune card. Time. I'm sorry, what, Moni? Uh, is it, she's a two fortune cards. Is that what the square yep. means? Yeah. Yeah. So that for you, you get the uh, two different uh, token and two fortune card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got the bow and the sticky rice. Is that bow? The, the that is. One? Yeah. yeah. I've made that. Ooh, oh, you've made steamed. it? The steamy one? Yeah. Wow. The both steamed and baked. Yeah. I, I prefer them steamed. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do too. But like it's actually like my eldest, it's their favorite thing in the planet. So but like because it takes so much time to like make the the meat, like the yeah. cha and everything, because we don't have a smoker or anything. So we like have to like I set up my oven so I could hang the meat on hooks, like S hooks wow. in my oven. Ooh. And then like it all goes down into a drip pan. But again, mm -hmm. it is a lot of work. So we usually try to save it for not special occasions, but mm -hmm. Like it's it takes a lot more planning than the rest of our lives usually allow. <laughs> Dang, Monique with her 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 cooking skills, showing off wow. her chef skills. Um, I I lucky I can buy tal shell or just the meat itself, and usually you just cut it into strips and eat it with rice or something. Um, I don't think I would ever make it on my own. <laughs> oh I, my goodness! I think it's worth it. It's so good. Uh, I, I, I want I want Monique to I want to visit like me and Monique will go to Vancouver, but Monique needs a chef kitchen so she can make some of these for us. <laughs> I, I, I want to travel the world learning how to cook from people's grandmas. Yes. Ooh. There was a show about that. There was a show. I think it was Netflix where someone went around getting recipes mm -hmm. from grandparents. From grandma. Oh, really? Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that. I don't I know. Yeah, I only know of Gordon Ramsay. He's going to different countries and like going and learning from other aunties as well too. Yeah, yes. yeah. Give me the aunties, especially the ones that have dueling aunties in their family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the two aunties are like, she can't make no potato salad. That's like my aunties. It's like she can't make the mac and cheese. And then like, oh well, let me show like you. You show me how you do it. You show me how you do it. And then like because what's great about that, at least in my personal experience, mm -hmm. about like my auntie is like fighting over potato salad and mac and cheese or whatever. Yeah. So I'm like, but auntie does it this way. She doesn't know what she's doing. And then they tell me like the whole like history and science behind why they do it this way. And then why <laughs> the other way is wrong. And then I get to talk to the other auntie. And then she tells me why, like all this facts about like why it's good her way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just, I just, I love that. I love, I love learning and listening to people's stories as they cook because sometimes perspective just becomes law. And okay. when it comes to food, that's fascinating. <laughs> yeah. For sure, Sorry. for sure. No, that was awesome. I mean, I love, I love your brain and how you love to get into like the history and how things work and stuff. It's so cool. Um, okay, so, uh, okay, so, um, and uh, okay, so now everybody got it their yeah. resources. So then, yep. uh, Marie will be the grandpa. Uh, sorry, yeah. Marie has the first player token, so she can go ahead. I need because... to remember all the things that can happen. So, uh, Grandpa's gonna steal from other people, mm. and then. Food blogger, the pig likes to collect columns. Columns, okay. I, so, okay, I variety. Like to collect, yeah, for me, I like to collect rows. Okay, yeah, so you and want all this. Yeah, and for you, you like to mess around with people. And, I do. <laughs> and then you collect, and you have that, uh, you like to collect a variety as well. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm okay. sure some people might think this is going to be a semi-mean game, but this is going to be fun. <laughs> Yeah. Now that I'm the main player. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Marie, do you want to go ahead and start? Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, I will start with getting a Phoenix Claw token, not the whole Ooh. stack, just one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I will play a fortune card. Okay which allows me to get another token. Oh, wow, okay. So I'll get uh, the pink shrimp dumpling token. Oh. She's looking at my dim sum. Don't look at my dim sum. <laughs> You're not looking at here. No, no, no I'm not. Look no, the other way. I, <laughs> <laughs> so then I will 
because I, I play a fortune card, right? So I can rotate the table. Yes. Mm -hmm. I rotate it once. And then that will be my turn. So now is uh, Monique's turn. Okay. Okay. Look at that rudeness. <laughs> so if I, in order to take a tray, I have to be able to like pay for everything in that tray. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why are you, why are you hovering over this tray? It's, that's not the tray you I, want either. You want this tray. That she is just taking out I, of reach. I was just, I was just randomly like, that was the closest one to where my mouse was at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I go deep into like the theme and the history and the mechanics, and you go deep into like, what is that person doing? <laughs> <laughs> they wave <laughs> my jism. Well, it's, it's great because like, I you... feel like Amanda uh -huh. like takes me out of like my deep thought process of like, what emperor was the first to have dim sum? And like, oh yeah, right, strategy. I got to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say, when you when you do family style anything, anything, there is a a, a, a meta game where you're trying to eat fast, but yeah. so that you can get more of your favorite food before everyone else eats this <laughs> at all. I don't know if anyone else thinks that, but okay. yeah, I, I just... am a sorry, I am a um a a verbal thinker i think yes, is yes. the term that's that i good. heard so i have a question yeah mm -hmm. and this is like straight up strategy and it's going to probably spill the beans uh <laughs> are, are the phoenix claws but uh speaking of phoenix claws there's only two of them out on the table mm -hmm. and then as is there's only two the meat buns and mm -hmm. i feel like as a food blogger i need to make sure i get at least one of those present. So what but are my there's another layer, Monique. There is no other layers. So there's three layers. There's yeah. three layers. Okay. So you so don't know what's underneath. Split up into rounds. It's just like when those are gone, something comes up. Okay. Yeah. But let's say I wanted some feet. Like, how do I get some feet? I would need the token and then I would need to like pay for all the things in the token with some feet. So I know I can't do it all at once on this turn. Mm -hmm. Correct. But that is all right. There we go. Sorry. Processed. Got it. <laughs> so if you want okay. feet, you on one of your turns, you need to get one of the tokens at least. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I want a, I want a foot. You want a foot? Mm -hmm. Give me the claw. <laughs> uh okay. And then I can play a card? Yep, you can play or, or you can draw. Card. Yeah. Or you can exchange two fortune cards for another token if you like. Mm -hmm. uh, I will take another fortune card. Is there a hand limit? There is no hand limit uh, because at the very end of the game, you will lose one, uh, lose one point for every food token, but you will get one point additional for every two fortune cards you have in your hand. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So okay. resource management as well too, right? So you don't want yeah. too much tokens at least. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But you I want good fortune. It. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> did you do your stuff, Monique? Is it my turn? I did. I got a token. I got a card and I, I flipped it. I Excellent. rotated it. Okay. So um, <gasps> since grandpa was so rude and took... Uh, <laughs> Took my food out of my <laughs> out of my reach. Um, let's see. So I am gonna go ahead and take a token if I can. Eh, give me. No. Nope, give me. Eh, no. Nope, okay. So do it this way. I'll put it into my hand and then take it out onto the table. Um, oh, table to the tabletop simulator. All right, and then I can turn in for this this uh, what do you call it? The steamer basket, yep. right? Yep. Yeah. So it. I'll turn this in. I'll turn this in. Mm -hmm. I'll take mm -hmm. this, and then that that opens up the steamer basket underneath. And oh, there you look. go, Moni. You wanted some uh, phoenix claws. Awesome. I have done that for you. Um, and then I'm gonna take this yeah. uh, and put it over here. I get one and two points. <laughs> yep, I'm sorry. You got everybody. it. Okay. Excellent. So then Legend my little that. monkey goes onto the, the card. Yay! I love it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. So adorable. Okay. <laughs> um, and then because I'm a monkey, I'm a cheeky monkey, um, I get to uh, do the roll. Mm -hmm. And it is a oh, three. Sorry. It was free. It was a free. 
Okay. So I rotate the turntable 90 degrees in any direction. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, the thing is, Grandpa can wants to take from someone else's spot. So let me see. If I just do this, will that? I don't think that'll hurt Grandpa, but maybe. <laughs> You can't. You can't stop me from eating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. You can't stop me from eating. <laughs> we can still eat. You just don't get any bonus points for stealing other yeah. people's food, Grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, Pauline. And uh, before you, we continue because after purchasing a steamer, the steamer counter would go down by one because. Ah oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for lurking, Monica, and for the 10 biddies. Thank you so much for cheering. Perfect. So I move yeah. it down to uh, 15 now, from 16 yeah. to 15. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, let's see. For me, I will grab okay, a, green, a sticky rice. I guess I can get a sticky rice. <laughs> A sticky sure? rice token, okay. and then my second action is to play a fortune card, which says purchase a steamer in your feast song for one less token. Oh, nice! So I return that, and then because of my magical skills, I can swap. Let's see, I'll swap the sticky rice for a shrimp dumpling. There we go. Oh so yes, one. because you want you want more of one type. Mm -hmm. Three and four. That will give me a total of four points, and then I lowered um, the steamer counter. Awesome. And then right. I finish my turn. And then we will reveal one fate card because everyone had their turn now, and we'll okay. see what fate brings us. Yes. It says during this round. Players can play two fortune cards instead of one as an action. They can only turn the table once. Okay. Okay. Well, that doesn't really affect me. Yeah. So I think it's time for me to feast. Oh, dang. Nope. Oh, actually, no, I can't. Hang I on. I swapped it. I swapped it. No. Okay, <laughs> hang on. Hang on. What have you done to Grandpa? <laughs> You <laughs> take away grandpa's shrimp dumpling. Hang on. Okay. What do I do now? All right. I'm going to get, you're not going to stop me. I'm going to get <laughs> one Phoenix Claw token and then I'm going to purchase this one instead then. So because I purchased oh. outside my feast yeah. zone, I need to pay one extra token. So yes. I'm going to play the two Claw token yeah. and then I'm going to play a shrimp dumpling token. So then I got this basket. Monique, your, your, your feet is being taken. Yeah. I, I. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> She's <special. laughs> Okay. So I got uh, two points on my board. And then because I'm ability, I got two extra points. So one additional per dimension, right? So I get yeah. four points. Uh, yeah. So I get four points on top of the bunny. <laughs> and then the... I mean, maybe this is effective because you can't say anything rude to grandpa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah question. Exactly. Yes. Question. So this one, this uh, steamer basket is shared, but this one is not shared because it's not on a line, right? Mm -hmm, correct. Okay. Okay. It's only yours. At yeah, the okay. moment, at until the moment, we turn the table. <laughs> unless Monique, <laughs> unless Monique decides to, you know, try to affect you, right? So yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so I've done my turn now. So it's Monique. Yes. <clears throat> well, okay. Hang on. Okay, wait. Uh, <laughs> wait. Okay, I think I got this. I think I got this. I'm going to take something, and then okay. I'm going to play something, and then take something. Wait, wait. Maybe I cannot do that. No, I can't take something. I can only. Hmm, wait. No. <laughs> okay so the slashes are the five between the slashes are the five actions i could do two. Oh, i see what i misunderstood all right all right i'm going to take something and then i'm going to take something and it's going to be marvelous <laughs> i think i think i can do you can this. only do two actions that are different from each other right. 
okay, well, maybe I won't be able to take something because that requires more finagling than I can manage. Oh, dear. All right. Hang on. I think I got this. Grandpa, <laughs> you really kind of messed with my jam here. <laughs> <laughs> Legends is team grandpa. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. There's no... Um, hmm. So you totally could take sense. something and buy something, too. Yeah, or you can play both of your cards, but then, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, the, the special thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because for one action, you can play both of them. Okay. Okay, all right. Well, maybe I'll just do that instead. I oh. will play the two cards as one of my actions. So I have this one. Mm -hmm. Get me some two points. Nice. Because I'm petty, I guess. Uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm petty and hungry, and I'm taking two points. Right okay. on top of the monkey. <laughs> Hi, lobby uh, of hobbies. Bye. And so for my other one, okay, hang on. Because I think, because I'm taking the 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 action that lets me turn things, right? Yeah. So I can play the two cards. And yeah. I think if I do this here, okay, I nice. can swap. I keep forgetting what controls to hit. Um, I can swap this yeah. for a feat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. a feat of mighty dim summing. But you then... can't get it yet. Because... I can't get it yet. You have to. Oh, no. She can. Yeah, it, I, I she's not in cards. her. It's no, not she, she didn't yeah, get this yeah. one. I can, I can rotate because I played cards. Yeah. yeah. Oh, your special ability. Uh, no, no. When you draw or you play a fortune card, you can turn the table. Oh, my! God, the tables have turned. <laughs> 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 All right, there we go. Did it. Nice. Really? Very, very nice good. move. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Very good play. Woo. And now om nom noms. Yes. So now you're gonna place that onto your board. You get one point for that. One point for that. And one point for that. So that's three points plus Oh, okay, you haven't just completed yet. So just three points, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, look at her jumping as a little piggy. Oh, wait, I'm using my. Thank monkey. you all for helping me One, process two, my thinking out loud. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Okay. okay so so, oh. So yep. because when you bought it, bought a steamer, I'm gonna reduce the counter here. Yes. Um, yes. to twelve now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Huh. Right. Well, Monique, that. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. Lady, um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Like me. <laughs> uh, what should I do? I know I can possibly rotate on my turn. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't forget your your lucky game die. You can do it before, in between, or after your uh, two actions. Oh, I had no idea. That's good to know. But right, once oh, you roll the dot, you have to do the action, though. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, yeah. That would be good. I think I'm going to roll it now. I'm going to grab my water bottle really quick. Yes. I forgot go. it again. I got a two, which means that um, I get to rotate the turntable. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Um, hmm. Yeah, yes. Okay, so I like that, that you can do the, the rolling of the dice um, at any time during your turn. And then I can go ahead and um, I'm going to get a token, but then I'm going to turn both of them in okay. for a steamer. Yep. I'm going I'm going cheap on the steamers, but <laughs> there's my second hey, steamer. When you got to eat. I know, you got to eat. You got to eat right? before other people eat up all your yummy favorites. Yeah. Why is it I cannot? Oh, there you go. I'm like, I can't get these things out of the steamer basket. All right, so I get one, two points. Yep. And then another easy way for people who play tabletop, uh, <laughs> tabletop simulator, you can flip the steamer to empty the dim sum. <laughs> so, nice. <laughs> so don't, don't, do that. don't do that in real life, though. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do it in real life. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. I have to put all these back just so I can do that again. <laughs> and, and then flip it. Yeah. And then move it away. <laughs> oh, no, you don't flip it. Move it away. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's Sorry. so awesome. Um, but we realize don't dump the whole steamer onto your plate and yeah. start eating it. <laughs> very rude. Very rude. I'm an adult. <laughs> yeah, disclaimer, do you know, not do grandpa. this. Yeah. Grandpa can do it. Can do it. <laughs> You're not my grandpa. You can't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> Hi, Floby. Okay, Pauline, it is your turn. Okay, so I will draw a fortune card. Uh huh. And then my second action is I'm going to grab a meat dumpling token. So when you drew, did you want to rotate? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll rotate. I think I'm happy where I'm eating. Okay. 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 So Let's... now it's the end of the round. Yep. And then the next fake card comes out. Yep. It says here each player rolls the die. The player with the highest number gains one token of their choice from the supply. Ooh, nice. Oh, and then if there's a tie, we re-roll, huh? Okay, so mm -hmm. Pauline goes first. Marie goes no, first. Oh, sorry, Grandpa. Marie goes first. Grandpa. Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa. Okay, Grandpa goes first. <laughs> Good morning, Joe. <laughs> Grandpa rolled a one? Nope, she rolled a blank. blank. So, oh. so probably from the, you probably uh, be familiar, there is no four in this game. Because right. four means death in the Asian culture. It, so, it sounds like the, the word for the number four sounds like the same word for death, mm -hmm. which is why on buildings, you won't have a fourth floor. You'll just skip to the fifth mm -hmm. <gasps> instead what? of number 13. Awesome. Okay, Monique, did you want to awesome. roll? Yes. I R. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you oh, you got a point too. I choose death today. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So a two. So I need to beat a two. Yes, that's gonna be easy. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> I got a one. Yeah! <laughs> I won with a two. <laughs> oh, so nice. okay, Grandpa. We one descended. of my choice. <laughs> yeah. You know the lucky game the die is with four. the monkey today. Yes, the monkey. <laughs> the chaos team chaos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so um, it is now Marie's turn. Yep, correct. Okay. So, so, um, there's like four sounds to a Chinese word. Joe's asking, how do you say four or death in Chinese? So in Mandarin, uh, four is si, um, and there's four different sounds. So like if I say ma 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 ma, so that means my mom got mad at the horse. <laughs> Even though it's the same sound, but different flexions um, will change the meaning of the word. That's why a lot of Chinese um, superstitions is words that sound like other words and will either bring you good fortune or not. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's always, yeah. I always like to say that, um, that phrase for people who want to kind of understand uh, the Chinese language a little bit better. Or at least man. All right. Okay, so this is what I did. Uh, so I get a token, which is uh -huh. the green sticky rice token. Uh -huh. And then I got a fortune card in uh -huh. my hand now. And then I rotate the table. Yes. And uh, that's my turn. Excellent. I'm going to do something very similar. I'm going to take me some of the meat dumplings. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take a fortune card. And uh, let's go back around this way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, I am going to, I'm going to take a, a, uh, some my, um, a meat dumpling if I can. Come on, tabletop here. I mean, tabletop simulator. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'm going to go num, 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 and I'm going to buy myself, um, because I, I don't know. My strategy is to go get things before other people. Um, so let's do this. Let's flip this over over here. Flip. Mm -hmm. and, and then move. Move. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh, move. Let go. Let go. Let go. Yeah, let, let go. go. Okay. And, and then, then move. move. Oh, there we go. There we go. Flip it onto <laughs> my staff. Those steamers. Um, so then 
this is gonna go over here. It's upside down though, that force on my Okay, there we go. Wow. So I got two for that and I got one for that. So that's three points for the monkey. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I get to roll the die. Uh, let's see. Okay, so three points for the monkey is I'm right on top of your pig. I'm oh, coming for you. Hang on, I thought you got, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think you get seven points in total. What? Yeah, you oh. forgot to score. It last, the last steamer you, you it did, you forgot to uh -huh. score. Yeah. So the oh. first row is one one points, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you got five and six, seven, yeah. Oh, so anytime you finish a column, you get to score that whole column? Oh, no, 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 no. So when you, last steamer, when you buy, you forgot to just score the points. Oh, yeah, when yeah, you put yeah, the dim sum yeah. down there, yeah. Okay, so I should have three, four, five, yeah, six, seven, yeah. So my total yeah. is seven. Ah, I got it. I have yeah. not been giving myself points. Apologies, yeah. everyone. And then yeah. uh, don't forget, uh, uh, don't yep. forget every time you purchase a steamer, you need to bring it down by one if you yes. want to go ahead and do that. Okay. So um, that way it's easier to keep track on how many steamers are left. So. Yep. yep. And then uh, I rolled a one, so I get to do nothing extra. This okay. Time. All right. I yeah, love these shrimp purses are so cute. So for me, it's uh, I'm going to grab a shrimp dumpling token, and then I'm going to purchase this. And I'm not <laughs> going to use my ability to swap because I I like what I ate. So yeah. two and two gives me a total of four points, and that will be eight. And then I bring down the steamer counter down by one. And you can see it's already starting to become empty. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Tom Posh says, I'm doing a little pointless strategy. Yes, I am. We're not in the fun. pointless podcast, but yes, I'm just having fun eating all the dim sum. I haven't been able to swap things. I'm like, I want to put things onto other things yet, but I haven't rolling a five or six. Um, and then <laughs> Joe says, so we're zodiac animals eat, making dim sum. We're not making dim sum. We're eating dim sum. So we're zodiac the way, animals the way eating we dim sum. <laughs> yeah, we're in the restaurant. In. Yeah, mm -hmm. and these so are the, the different diners inside the restaurants. Yeah, we're sitting around a table munching on dim sum. So um, that was the end of this round. Yeah. And so then we get the a new big card. Yay. So. In the, uh, I forgot to mention, so in the very busy uh, Asian restaurants uh, where you have dim sum and all that, so there's common times when um, you don't want to wait and you'll just share a table together yes. and sit together. So this is the case where, you know, we are sitting together to eat, strangers coming together. Yeah. Okay. So this one, it says, during this round, players cannot play a fortune card. Oh, no. Ooh, nice. Okay. Okay, well. That's easy. Then I would just uh, get a token for, as my turn, and then I'm gonna buy this one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so get ah. one and two, <laughs> and then I got four points because of my ability. So yes. one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's my turn. Grandpa's eating all of Monique's <laughs> food. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I'm taking all the shrimp dumplings. That'll show you, old man. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. Alternatively, I can. A question in the chat for the designers. Uh, ben yes. says, in the published game, are players allowed to know what's in each basket? Can they look through the baskets on top or only on what's revealed? Uh, whatever is revealed. However, there is, uh, we do have two versions. One is the family and the strategy way. Family, you know, where you have kids and all that, they can kind of peek through it so that they can have fun and kind of, you know, see what's underneath. But you can't really see much because of the, the lining. And, uh, but in the strategy, basically you have like a mutual agreement saying don't look underneath. So when yeah. we are, how are we setting up the table? Are we just randomly drawing and just placing them on top of each other? Um, so there are also two variations. So the first way is like when you want a quick game, so you'll just sprinkle two to four dim sum. As you know, in real life, there's only two to four dim sum each steamers. Yeah. And then you'll stack um, three. Uh, so there's 18 steamers. So then you'll just stack six stacks and three layers. And then you can play with the game right away. 
um, but in a strategy method. So we will take turns. So for me, I will draw two dim sum from the steamer and I'll put it into a stack somewhere. Then Marie does three dim sum and then Monique does four and then you go back to two and I do three and then four and then you stack until all 18 steamers are out. And that will give time for the people who are want to strategize. They know if all 18 steamers, what each one have, and you try to memorize and then try to plan out your way, um, plan out your game. Interesting. Very, very mm. interesting. Okay. But, uh, yeah, but we do these two ways just, uh, uh, just to, you know, ours is more focused on the family friendly, you know, quick game and play, but then there's also that method we tried. And I mean, if you win, if you memorize all 18 steamers or what they have inside, I mean, for sure, you can, you definitely deserve to win. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a good memory, so I don't do that. Oh, Ruel, thank you so much for the subscription. Um, Aww, wow. Aww. Oh, Yay. Well, yeah, Joe, I missed him some too. But I don't know if anyone missed it. I'm just going to real quickly show off my platter of of dim sum here, the different types okay. of dim sum that I, I usually get. Oh, things are sliding off. <laughs> <laughs> I have it on a plate of ice. It, I, I, I just want to say I'm sorry for that. I was using my magic power thinking that looks delicious. Please come to <laughs> Thank me you, and Mom. then it went flying off your plate. <laughs> yes, yes. Trying to get to you through the magic of the internet. My love. <laughs> you can't separate us forever, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to, Mo. If I could throw dim sum at you, I'd throw dim sum right into your mouth. <laughs> Mom, just do dim sum at me. <laughs> Run away, dim sum. The force is strong, in Monique. Yes, Tan. The force is strong, in Monique. Okay, um, so it is my turn. We cannot play any cards. Uh, I'm gonna roll my die real quick uh, to see what I get. Okay, so ooh, what is this? Oh. A five. A five, which means I can move one steamer to the top of another stack. Ooh. What do I want? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think I'm going to move this one over here, which might help Grandpa, but we shall see. And then I'm, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Uh, Mulligan, because uh, actually that would be the same. Because uh, Pauline over there is, is eyeing all the shrimp dumplings, and she might want to. <laughs> <laughs> I like my rose of uh, shrimp. Yes. Uh, you know what? I think I'll take this one. Yeah. Noink. Can I put it in the empty spot? Yeah, yes. you can. Is it? Uh, yeah. But that would help you with your shrimp, so. No, I don't mind, you. though. I, I don't mind, though, you know? <laughs> <laughs> No, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to, um, it doesn't matter what I take. I'm going to take a shrimp just because. Just to no. make keep Pauline on her toes. Um, Mom, so that's my first action. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a card for my second action. All right. Uh, and then because I took a card, I can rotate. Mm, yeah, rotate I'm it towards rotate me. This. Yeah, so I'm going to be a little <laughs> bit helpful. Just, just a little bit because I want all the, the place near me. I'm also helping Grandpa too because I'm moving it away from him. So I think Grandpa's going to win, though. You don't know what I'm going to eat. OK, did I move it? It rocks to be old. Uh, I don't uh, think you clicked it yet. Can OK, so let's... There you go. OK, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. OK. <laughs> okay. I will, uh, on my turn, I will draw a fortune card. Let's see what it says. I am, hmm, should I play this card? I think I should. You no. can't. Oh, I can't, can't play this card. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Never mind. I guess I can't. Oh, it's okay. I'll still grab a shrimp dumpling then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then talking about shrimp dumpling. So here, if you can see, that's <gasps> what it looks like. Is that a prototype? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's so cool. It's so cute. And it's made of the squidgy stuff. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me let me make your screen bigger so everyone can see. Wait, where did it go? There it goes. Oh, look at the squishy dumpling. Oh, and I love the steamer baskets. Oh, yeah, you can sort of see through, but it's kind of hard. Yeah, that's really cool. So, here's the... Oh, so am I. 
And then uh, here's the barbecue muffin, oh. the, sticky, <laughs> the sticky rice. Yes. And then the exotic uh, Phoenix call. Oh, that's Yay! so cool. <laughs> that is so there cool. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Like, I did Someone said earlier in the chat that they eat chicken feet badly, but how do you, is there, I'm so, I mean, I want to, I want to, okay, so like, I really want to try chicken feet now, but I'm also like, how do you eat it badly? Well, okay, no, it's not badly, it's just that there's some people that are awesome at eating it, in which they stick the whole chicken feet into their mouth, and they swish it around, and suck off all the stuff, and then just spit out the very very clean bones of the chicken feet so like you can eat it where you just like take little bites and then like or like suck off the skin and and stuff and then like spit out like one at a time but that's you're just not a professional so is it, is it does it like fall right off like as soon as you like start sucking the bone does the meat just like shoot right into your mouth or do you like have to like chew it off holly you just uh, suck out the uh, skin. It's, you don't really need to chew it because it's so soft. It, it comes yeah. over easily, actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm ready. I can do it. <laughs> I suck. No. <laughs> 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 you do just not. This with the chicken wing for now. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Suck them off the chicken wings. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hi, Sarah Jane. Sarah Jane play tested this a while ago and looking forward to the campaign. I am very excited Thank for you. this. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Um, All right. Yes. So it's, uh, yeah. Sorry, Joe just said, Panda, if you want to make this into a combo mukbang board game stream, I'm here for it. I do have it. I was thinking about doing it, but I decided not to. <laughs> I'm just going to focus on the game and the people for now. But we should do it in the future. We'll get Benita on board and we'll do a yeah. mukbang uh, dim sum steam up. <gasps> I'm gonna eat chicken feet on stream. Oh, <laughs> yes. We gotta gonna judge your technique then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I figured it would be like a training process, or it's just mm -hmm. like yes, yes, for sure. Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm thinking about it too much, and now I'm like also paranoid but excited. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's the end of the round. Yep. Um, yeah. yeah. And then now, uh, when Nick's big card. It says okay. here, each player gains one token of their choice that they do not have in their hand. Yes! Nice. Yes. I will grab my meat dumpling. I will mm. grab some... Uh, oops, I don't want all of them. I grab not too them. greedy. I know, that was too greedy. I got some steamed rice, some sticky rice. Oh, someone's going for some chicken claw. Yeah, oh... <laughs> <laughs> Monique loves it when I do that because I, I always like kind of comment on what I assume other people are going just for my own strategy because I'll, I'll say it out loud for when I'm supposed to just be thinking it and then Monique's like la always laughs at me for it because I'm like oh I think she's gonna do this so I'm gonna do this and then Monique's like I have no strategy Amanda <laughs> No, you should, again, I'm usually thinking, okay, well, how would this taste? And how do I get balance on some of my plate right now? But it's just like, mm -hmm. it is like kind of strategy, but it's strategy adjacent where yours is much more like, oh. <laughs> mm. I do, I do, I love it. Yes. Uh, Frank, try, uh, Frank Tries uh, said something awesome. Uh, Polly and Marie, you are, you both done a great job with this game. It looks good. And I'm sure the Kickstarter will do fantastic. Thank you, Thank Panda, you. for introducing the, me to this. And thanks to Game Freak Geek Girl, Monique, for being your wonderful self. Um, <laughs> bye and have a good day. I hope you do follow it and check out the Kickstarter, Frank, when it comes out. Thank you, Frank. Have a good Thank day. You, Frank. Yay. Bye. Hello, Frank. Bye. Okay, so Monique. Okay, so this is like the one of our choosing, right? Just like the yes. one random Okay, one I was about yeah. to say. Oh, Monique's going after my dim sum. Look at that. <laughs> you don't know what I'm about. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This is what happens around the table. I'm always like, ah, and then Monique's like, no, you don't know. <laughs> Mom, she's strategizing my strategy again. <laughs> Dear Charlie, Monique has been to her mom about me five times now. <laughs> I mean, in my head, we have a board game mom. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is Ruel right. a board game dad or uncle? He's my uncle. Okay. Mm. okay. 
I could, okay. I could just like shout out to like Mrs. Gaviola. Be like, Auntie, she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, these are other streamers we know. Um, so, uh, okay, so Pauline, it is your turn. I mean, no, Moni, uh, Marie, Marie, Marie. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So what I did, I got a shrink to tumbling token, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then I draw a card into uh -huh. my hand, and yeah, then rotate. now I am going rotate. That's not a good move, you know. You should have rotated the other way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's my turn. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Yippee kaye. I'm going to take a thing. Take a thing. Then I'm going to buy a thing. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. Oh. Oh, that's good. see? Yeah. That's why you should have turned it the other way. No, no, no. <laughs> you did the exact right thing, Grandpa. I'm yeah. so proud of you. This is why you're my favorite. I'll be <laughs> nice and picky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I take it. I yes. oh, I don't oh. do that. Well, I oh, well. um oh boy. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay, you need to lock your board, Monique. <laughs> I do. Uh, I'm so sorry for who you're, I you're, am. It's not a food fight, Monique. This <laughs> is not a food fight. It's a dim sum restaurant, okay? So uh, was she's, too she's too excited. She's too excited. I yeah. was very excited. I was like, I can't believe I'm getting to do this thing. Let's walk your board down. How do I do that? I already did L. it for you. Oh, yeah. I held oh. it. Yeah, that's that's probably good. I love that you're so, yeah. the naughty kid at the table, and I'm just like, ah. <laughs> I don't know how this works. Hold on, we gotta know how many points you. So you get four points on the dim sum, but you completed the roll just now. Column. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, column. So you get the uh, three extra points. So four plus three, so seven points. I'm going to move you closer just for people to see what you're doing, and then I'll lock you down. Locked. OK, wow. Yeah. So Monique got seven points. Yeah. So you're seven at 12. Points. Look at Monique running into the lead. Oh, that's exciting. Point, point. Point, point. I mean, I'm probably going to take a nap after this, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so. Hmm. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Uh, ooh, Is okay. Pencil sharpener? Huh? So I heard a pencil sharpener. Oh, uh, no. I, no. <laughs> uh, 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 it's a vacuumer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. I am. I was about to ask, like, you have an electric pencil sharpener, and I got like so excited. Then I was just, like, it's probably not a pencil sharpener, and only you would get excited about something that weird. <laughs> no, money. No. Okay. So but I'm going to. They're gonna... so cool, right? Like, I think I would just spend my whole day just sharpening a pencil into a nub <laughs> and just live out my elementary school fantasies. Yes. <laughs> no. Would you do a manual, or would you just go? Bzz, bzz, bzz? Oh, I don't know. Probably both. I mean, like the crankshaft, <laughs> like uh, pencil sharpeners are fantastic yeah. too. They were just. Did like, we yeah. move the dim sum counter? No, oh, I don't think I did. No. Okay, I moved it down. Okay, yeah. We should be at seven, right? Yeah. Yes. Back to the dim sum. Less about pencils, Monique. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna roll the die because I don't know what to do. Wait, I didn't do that. Okay, roll. Oh, oh blank. Me. That doesn't help me die on what to do. Okay, so um <laughs> that's funny. It doesn't help you die any roll of death. <laughs> that's great. Death, 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 death jokes. Okay. Uh I am going to go ahead and take a token. What should I take? What should I take? Hmm. I'll take uh this one. How did you uh fashion the rondel for the lazy Susan? Yeah. Uh, when uh, fashion? Not quite sure. Like, how is it constructed? Yeah. Oh, so it'll be uh two play uh two boards together, and then like almost with a rivet in the in the middle. So then that way you will uh, um be able to turn. So the base will be a little bit thicker than the one on top, and then there'll be die cuts where you can put the steamer on. So then it will lock oh. the steamer. So it won't be actually like oh. what you see on tabletop, similar where it's just on top of a paper. It's actually be die cut. So it'll lock That's the steamers fantastic. in. Awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. important because uh like when things are easily knocked over, but it matters like where they go. That's mm -hmm. that's tricky. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I did not like enjoy terraforming Mars. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, yes. Okay, so I'm done. Um, I took a token, I took a card and rotated it. Um, I did it for a reason, guys, even though I'm rotating them out of my way. Uh, for a reason, there's a reason. What is the monkey gonna eat? <laughs> I, I think I think she wants to eat this one. But see, I I rotated it in front of Monique, hoping that she, it'll take her a while to get to it. Uh, and I'm I'm tempting Pauline with this one right here to say, "Eat this one, not this one." <laughs> that is true. Okay, you know what? To ensure that I can actually eat it before you do. What? I am I am going to tell my dad first to stop the vacuum and hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Um no, no one's drilling holes into the game. <laughs> deadpan, um Deadpan is said, Oh, were you talking about this? Oh, deadpan sorry, says, Is there gonna be a lazy Susan type board in the physical game? Are you moving the steamer stacks themselves? No, it's gonna be like like you said, so right? Where, yeah, so you can, yeah, so like we said, uh, it's going to be like a, like, so you can actually turn it. So the steamer lo would lock on the table. So when you turn the table, rotate the table, it will rotate uh, all the stacks together. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's very important because you don't want to have to, like, take it each steamer. But to have that double thickness with the in cut, the cut mm. or out, that'd be great. Yeah. Okay, wait, you're playing a card? Yep, so I, I first drew a um, meat, barbecue meat bun token, and then uh -huh. now I'm going to play this fortune card. It uh -huh. says, choose a type of token. All players gain one from the supply, and starting the next round, I became the I become the first player. Ooh. Mm. So I'm going to be nice. Everybody can get a sticky rice token. That's not nice. You're going for my dim sum. I'm going to take all the sticky rice now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> And then I will take the first player token. <laughs> You're stealing my sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Sharing is caring, you know. <laughs> All right. Okay. I see who the magician is. It's like that cousin that comes to visit and like the rich cousin that gets everything from their parents is like, you don't need this. This is mine now. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, isn't that cute? Like I was here first. <laughs> Okay, so that's now. the Just end of the... the... Oh, and then because I played a fortune card, I'm yeah. going to rotate the tin table. I'm going to okay. rotate it this way. Okay. Yes. So now okay. the round is complete, and now we start a new fifth card. And it says here, oh no. Each player draws one dim sum from the bag and add it to any of the top steamers. Oh, oh. no. That's this is exciting. not good. How do we do good. this? So you just uh, pick one. Wait, just how do pull, we how do we just pull, pull it out? Yes, yeah, yeah, just pull it out. How do I pull it out? Oh, there we go. Okay, from the I top. I did it. No, wait, that's, a, wait, that's wait, a token. Wait. Oh, Who, wait, no, who? I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone do it for me, and then I will take it. Oh, there we go. I, I did it. You got yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so go ahead, Grandpa. No, you you are the first player now. Oh yeah, I'm the first player. I am going to put it. I will put it. I can't tell what you want. Let's see. You want <laughs> Venus Paul shrimp? Okay, I'll put it here. Actually, no, I'm gonna put it here. I, I lied. I'm gonna put it here. Okay. 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 I'll, I'll just put it here. Okay. Can there be more than five now? Because yes. of, okay. So Monique, yeah. where are you gonna put yours? Um. Irish, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to put this one here away from the magician. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, funny. So now, Go I'll ahead. Begin. Yeah. I'm gonna do my first action is to draw a fortune card so I can turn the table. And now my Ooh. second action. She's gonna fortune. eat my dim sum, everyone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So, so mean. Finally, can eat something, and then I can use my ability to swap one of my dim sum out. So I'm going to swap out the sticky rice, and I will swap it for a shrimp dumpling. Of Look course. at that rudeness! Look at that rudeness! 
<laughs> She's taking out the shrimp. I know. Okay. She doesn't even need that much more. Okay, so that was what? Two? So that was four? Seven. Yeah, five, six, seven. Yeah. yeah. I'll grab my seven. Look at the monkey. I'm so far behind. <laughs> This is, and then, this is really competitive eating. It is. Competitive <laughs> eating. And then I moved the steamer counter down by one. Yep. So I okay. finished my turn. All right. Um, okay. Uh, I, I love was a little the too... magician token. So cute. <laughs> I was a little too late to play this card, but it's all right. So uh -huh. the next... So what it says is I can gain up to two tokens from the tokens that was used to purchase the next steamer. Uh, what do you mean? So I'm just gonna play this out. So if anybody purchase a steamer, I can gain one of those uh oh, gain two tokens from, from those tokens that are used to purchase the steamer. Got it, got it. Yeah. Um all right, so uh, my next move uh, danger though, because you could end up with tokens and those are all minus points. Yes. Yeah, it could be, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um okay. Ah, what do I get? Um, uh, I'll get uh, a barbecue one token, and mm -hmm. that's my turn. Okay. I know. Oh, and to give you guys, uh, the viewers, what, uh, how, what it mean to have two, uh, two boards together. So this is what it looks like. Oh, so you nice. have the two. And then you can rotate, so oh, you can wow. see it's die cut. So you can remove it and die cut, and you can rotate. Awesome! That's mm -hmm. such a like nice, luxurious yeah. experience. I love it. And I am obsessed with balance right now. Like, uh, okay, all right. Joe says, "I'm gonna eat your dim sum." Has such a threatening energy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Eating dim sum is not a relaxing experience. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to discard two cards. I'm going to discard this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, no, I don't want to do that because I want to play this card. I want to play this card here. Players cannot take that type of token mm -hmm. until it is my turn again. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Actually, it's okay. Um, I don't have any tokens. Which? Oh, wait. so which type? Which one? Are I'm you gonna choose giving? the meat dumpling. Okay. I'll just put it here. Okay. okay. Yeah. No one can oh, take meat dumpling. I'll just move it for now. Yeah. Rude. And what are you looking for, Amanda? Is there any way to get rid of tokens? There uh, are certain cards that can help you. Yeah. So, for example, I have a player card. I, I don't mind sharing with you. That <laughs> says, "Give up to two of your tokens to another player." So oh, that's... you're saving that for the end. <laughs> Rudeness. Rudeness. Oh, I see you, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But but there are cards out there that will say you can get rid of your tokens too. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Uh, is that your turn, uh, Monique? Yes. Oh, sorry. Yes, that is my yeah. turn. Um, James uh, says, uh, "Yeah, James says the board is an amazing toy factor. Uh, I never fight over food like this. Sure, sure, that's what you say." <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, Joe says that clip of Pauline spinning the lazy season is half of your Kickstarter video already. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. I agree, because yes. that was that was beautiful. That was some real ASMR. <laughs> Just yeah, it does have that ball bearing sound too. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay. I want to save that for the mean play at the end of the game. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do this. Um, so this says uh, take one fortune card from, wait, from the fortune discard pile. Yeah. I'm going to take this one. Okay. I just, yes, yes. Or so you can search I, through it if you want. Um, yeah, but I kind of want to be the first player. I can't, oh, I yeah. can't play it just yet, but I. Yeah. At the end of maybe I'll I'll take first player. Oh dear. Okay, wait. So I can't play it now. That changes things. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna roll. Because you already played a card. You already played yeah. a card. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and rotate this a little bit mm -hmm. because I I played a card. 
And then I need to roll my die because I like having the die because I don't. If I don't know what to do, I just roll it, and then that kind of decides for me. What is it? A two, which means I could yeah. rotate it again. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'm a little kid playing with the the <laughs> lazy Susan, and I'm just rotating back and forth. Okay. Um, dang, damn it, I can't do anything. Aww. Mom, I want to do more. Uh, I don't want all the, okay, fine. I'm going to take some, oh dear. Oh no, Pauline, uh, Grandpa is going for this. Ah, uh, no, I don't like it. <laughs> ah, fine. Give me that chicken feet. Okay. I don't want to eat chicken feet, Mom. You're going to eat it and like it. Okay, that is my turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then uh, she ends new her round. Turn. New yeah. round will begin. And it says here each player removes one dim sum from any of the top steamer and put it back into the bag now. Oh, now we remove it. Uh, okay. Oh, very interesting. Um, you have so many sticky feet. I think I'm going to remove a Rudeness! sticky feet. Rudeness! <laughs> please be mad. Be mean to me with her magic trick. She keeps on disappearing my dim sum. <laughs> At least I give you a Phoenix call, unless someone else. Re <laughs> Rude. Okay. I'm going to remove your frame dumpling. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, Monique's turn. What do you Monique, want to remove? what are you going to do? Uh, yes. uh, uh, I'm team grandpa now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome okay. to my team. <laughs> I think I'm going to um no I want to keep that. I will do this. I'm going to help people. Aww. I'm going to be helpful. Yep. Okay. Thank so you. So then I will begin. You I are. Want I'm, I want to grab a meat dumpling, but then I can't because of Monique. Yes. So um, that kind of <laughs> that kind of ruined my plan. That sounds so evil right there. <laughs> That's a grandpa laugh right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that kind of ruined my plan there. Okay. Um, I guess I'll draw a fortune card and see what I can use. Mm -hmm. The second action is I will grab, I guess I'll grab a barbecue meat bun. Why not? Are you going to rotate anything? No. Uh, no, I'm not going to rotate. It looks like you guys can't really buy much. So I think I'm okay. Okay, my turn. You're, mm -hmm. you're done, right, Polly? Uh, yeah. Oh my God, I can't get a meat dumpling. I know, right? <laughs> oh it's what are you doing <laughs> getting rid of meat dumplings then? I thought it would be safe and like random, you know. <laughs> she I, planned it. That's her strategy. She planned it so we can get it. I could have chosen shrimp chaos. dumplings. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna play this card. Mm -hmm. So if somebody to choose a type of token, everybody needs to remove it. If we can't, then I get points. Mm -hmm. Uh let's do meat dumpling. <laughs> oh, no one has so, oh, yeah, so you get okay. points because no one So has I it. get two points. Wow. So I get two points. And then because Wait. I play a card, I oh, can okay. rotate. Mm -hmm. I can rotate. I'm going to rotate. Okay. Oh, did I rotate? No, not yet. Nope. There you there. go. Okay, now I rotate. Because I rotate, my next action will be purchase this one. No, oh, my nice. food again. Oh, no. I wanted okay. that one. Grandpa. Food, <laughs> grandpa. Food. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's having so much fun being a rude grandma. You gotta respect yeah. her. You gotta respect so her. One, two, three. So I get three, three points for my and then for my the board, and then I get the bonus point. So six points. Mm -hmm. Dang, uh, damn it! Grandma. Okay, my tummy <laughs> is satisfied. <laughs> I need to get rid of these tokens. So okay. yeah, we're done. Meat yeah. dumpling goes back. This yeah. gets discarded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Well, I obviously need some bow. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> just, Grandpa's hand just kind of slowly floats over my book. <laughs> 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 this is so funny. This is like, I know it's my turn because here comes this creepy blue hand. <laughs> <laughs> I think there are some things I will miss about online board gaming, like when I play less of it. And it's moments like that where it's just like, I just imagine it and in person, this person just like slowly reaching towards. <laughs> oh, my head right. is shaking. <laughs> Save me some shrimp dumplings. <laughs> okay. Um, and then. Uh, Joe says this captures the stress of not getting as many pieces of the dim sum you want because other people want it too and you didn't order enough and the waiter isn't coming back soon <laughs> agree 100% <laughs> agree Joe uh, okay I think I'm going to draw another card again this is probably not a good move but with grandpa's nefarious oh wait did you take the whole stack or just one Oh no! Oh my! <laughs> I did. Just put it, push Thank one. You. Yeah, there you go. Okay, okay. Remember last time you told me to push numbers, and they just went flying everywhere. <laughs> Don't move the hand. Just push the one without moving the hand. Hey. Okay, oh, you can just it. it quickly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, did I can't it do it quickly enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm moving. Uh, I'm moving things. Um. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't like the options the bunny has right now, but yeah. there's oh, no, no shrimp dumpling. You guys took all the shrimp dumpling out of the out of the dim steamers. Oh, did no. I did I accidentally rotate or did someone want I to don't, rotate? I, I wanted to rotate, but I thought it would go the other way. To oh, be honest, I'm really bad at like the We can just do it the other way. Thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can, there we go. Yeah. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. <laughs> Joe says the person we, uh, in person will each have to wear a different color glove so that we know <laughs> whose hand is coming. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be like have firefly flashbacks, like the blue hands. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, those are creepy. So creepy. Two by two, hands mm -hmm. of blue. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm done. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to roll it because, again, I have no idea what I'm doing. And I'm last place. Ooh. Nice. I got a five, which means I can move things. Yes. Noink. Right on you, top. Or you can uh, try to move these ones so that you can see what's underneath. More options for you, too. Nope. nope. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to get this one. <laughs> she knows she, what she, she knows was she doing. Knows she knows her strategy. <laughs> there's, there's like a heartbeat of thought, and then I'm like, no, no, that ain't me, fam. No, okay. You expect the naughty kid to listen to you? No, I don't. I didn't that. <laughs> no. <laughs> One, two, and four. This is great. I'm still behind, but I'm a kid. I'm gonna have so many minus yeah. points. I I am looking at the Shih Tzu picture, and I just <laughs> realized the cute pun picture of the the shirt that it's wearing. <laughs> oh, thinking about you. What? what? Oh, let's see. I need this shirt if it's a real thing. Is this a Kickstarter goal? Can I get this shirt? <laughs> thinking about you. Yes, definitely. I agree. That should be a Kickstarter goal. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> glad you understand the pun. <laughs> yes, yes. I do. I think it's, you know what? You put a pun in a game and I'm going to find it. I don't even know why I was just like, what's the Shih Tzu card look like? I don't know. Let's go look at it. Of course, it's a pun. I found it. There we go. Yeah. Easter egg. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Wait, I didn't move the token. Okay, move the token down. Yep. Nice. Okay. okay, so now, now we're on new new fake card, and it says here the lowest player no sorry the lowest point player takes the top steamer from the tallest stack and places it to the bottom of that stack. Oh, so you your choice. choice. This one or this one? You want to reveal the bottom one? It's not yeah, like the monkey needs more choices. <laughs> <laughs> I want choices, people. Okay, so I'm going to do this one. Okay. Ooh, and then oh sorry, I'm going to do this one. Yeah, just, and yeah. then move this there. Yeah. 
Wait, can you move it back? Because I don't know if I can. Yeah, move I won't do that. <laughs> there, you there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there, there you go. we go. That's a good one. You that can is eat a good that. One. That is a good one. What? Monique <laughs> can eat it before me. No, awesome. she can't. Oh, she, she can't. she's missing two more. <gasps> two more yes, more. I think I can eat it. Maybe, maybe choices. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So it's the bunny's turn. Bunny's yeah. turn. The bunny bunny's is turn. going to do, do this. I'm gonna play one card. Oh no! Says, I always... <laughs> don't worry. It's not too bad. Move one steamer from the top of any stack to the top of another stack. Oh, she's gonna try to steal my. Okay, no. Okay, she's just oh. revealing. Ooh, <laughs> I like okay. that too. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going now. I know what I want to do. So I'll mm -hmm. draw this, and then I finish my turn. Ah, no... she wants that one. Unless I get it first. Well, I'm sure you want the bigger one because more points, right? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> that is the right way to play this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get a meat dumpling and I'm going to draw a card. Can I ask, how did you choose uh, Hot Banana Games as your uh, name? Um, so I, I don't know if you hear the term for bananas or like... Um, American-born Chinese, yeah. Yeah, American-born Chinese or like Canadian-born Chinese. Yeah. So then, uh, and then the hot meaning very uh, passionate, very loving, and very like on oh. fire, and of course very hot and pretty, right? So yes, of course, of course, you both <laughs> and that very is, hot. Yeah, and that is how we say hot banana games. Yeah. So banana, the reason why we say banana is uh, a um, like Amer a North American-born Chinese because people consider Chinese to be yellow skinned, which I don't know. I mean, it's kind of under why. skin tone, but not. Yeah. But then we're, we might look like an Asian on the outside, but we have the culture of um, you know, Canada or America white on the inside. So that's why the term banana came in. Yeah. 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 We have, we have Oreo and stuff like that. Yeah. But like, I mean, um, in the black community, if someone is yellow, it's like, cause they're mixed. Oh, so interesting. I, okay. Yeah. So that's what I grew up with. I thought like yellow was because I had lighter skin or because I was mixed. And my mom is like more mixed than I am. So she's like much lighter than I am. So she got called yellow a lot growing up oh. by oh, okay. like our black that's, family members. Wow, oh, that's interesting. I never thought so, of, I never heard of that. Hmm. I didn't know about the about the <laughs> banana thing either. I just feel like, oh yeah, bananas. Because hot bananas are like what? Bananas foster? I'm sure they're tasty. <laughs> 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 yeah, just to clarify though, it's 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 okay for us like yeah. we tell, tell ourselves that oh we're bananas, but it's yeah. sometimes it might sound rude for someone to call someone else to be like oh you're a banana, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like that yeah. doesn't sound like anything I would use to call anyone anything yeah. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the Oreo yeah. thing is just like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Paul, wait, like, uh, Marie, what did you do? Ah, uh, what did I do? Uh, I got a, <laughs> I got a meat dumpling token, and then I draw a card. Okay. Yeah. That's Sorry, it. I got so involved in listening. No, no, no. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Um, bollocks. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to roll. I can re-roll blanks. So you Ooh. take a a meat uh no yeah a toss ball a barbecue bun nice from the supply <gasps> that's good oh dear it's not really gonna be enough though is it yeah no it's not you can rotate the table since you played a card if you want I can hmm I have needs. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait, if it goes this way, then I can at least take this one. Yes? You can yes. take it right now. Wait, no, but oh, wouldn't. you played a card. Did you take, oh, you took it from the die. So yeah, you can just buy one right now. Yeah, uh, I can't take this one because I, wait, do I have a chance of getting this? No. You want to go big, right? Like, you know, leave the small ones from, you know, someone else. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, listen. I just don't want that someone else to be you or Panda. <laughs> oh, dang. Because I'm trying to think, like, names that start with a P. I, I see it now. I see it. <laughs> well, 
Ah, oh, crackers. Yeah, because I want another one, but I think that Panda's going to get it before I can get it. So I'll just take what I can get. Yes. Okay. And so you're going to turn in this one too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you keep that one. Oh, no. Didn't you I have two? Yeah, you oh, have yeah, yeah. Two. I, I didn't realize you took the other one. All right. Okay. And then we have one less basket. Yes. Dun, 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 Can you okay. score your points? Dun, 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 dun. Don't forget your nope. points. Oh, I have points. <laughs> uh, two points and one point, so three points. I'm like, did I score all my points? Two, four, one, six, two, three. Yes, I did. Okay, it's good that we can double check ourselves in terms of scoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really helpful. All right, so I'm gonna roll my die and hope for something. 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 Oh no! It's like, oh, rude die, rude. You can't be naughty all the time, you know. Ah, but I want it. Uh, hold on. Oh, okay. So Sarah Jane uh, talked about the Southeast, uh, South Asian Americans having coconuts for the same idea of outside inside. I think it's interesting how many of them have something ev evolved around food. Yeah, yeah it's all food. Eh? Interesting. <laughs> yeah, but it's like I think that is probably like why it feels like a bit. Um fetishy i think because like when reading books i really like to read and i really like supernatural books and like romance novels and things like that mm -hmm. but like usually when non bipoc authors write about P bipoc people then mm -hmm. it's like it's always food based and it's just like are they going to me is this how i am seen <laughs> do people look around and go like a caramel macchiato boy howdy i could go for one of those <laughs> i'm like i'm a person not a beverage <laughs> like, yes. uh, like i once had a boy who asked me if i tasted like chocolate and i was very uncomfortable about that okay, oh, that yeah, is so weird yeah. that's so no. weird that's why so would you say something like that but i think it's yeah. interesting because like how many times do let's like relate people to food and like mm. at some point it's just Odd. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so I, I guess she purchased points. she purchased the steamer. I played I played a card which allowed me to take off one of the the um, the dim sum so that I can then purchase because someone was so rude to rotate it out of my way and I can't get this chicken feet to lay properly. Uh, go back. Okay. So I get six oh. points. Yeah. Um, so I'm at what seventeen. I am oh, not okay. in the back now. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then you moved the steamer basket. No, I didn't. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. You can go ahead. Yeah. Oh, it's so. getting more competitive now. Ooh, ooh. There's only two left. Yeah. Okay. The next one it says the player with the least dim sum draws a dim sum from the bag and add it to their player board. Oh, so everybody know. count the number of dim sum on your player board at the it moment. It looks like it's grandpa though. I think Not so. Seven. Four, seven, three, seven, yeah. Four, five, six, I seven, definitely eight, have more nine. than seven. Okay, so Grandpa gets to have one free dim sum. Okay, thanks for the respect. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I got a shrimp dumpling for one point. Nice. King Grandpa. <laughs> okay. All right. And go now ahead. we will begin. I will grab a uh, meat dumpling. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I am going to. She wants this one. Get rid of two cards. <gasps> uh, to do what? And then to grab another token. And I'm gonna grab she does that. want this one. There you go. <laughs> oh, the bunny is uh, going aggressive now. <laughs> oh, there's only two baskets. There's only two baskets left. I'm going to have to go for it. Aggressive bunny. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay. Oh, this is the only basket with a basket underneath. Okay. Okay, I finished my time. Yes. <laughs> I see <All> my time. <laughs> um, okay. Um, oh, I don't know if I should get more tokens. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's still two, two basket left. There's still two Yeah. I have a card just... Uh, I know I shouldn't say, but it says that I return a dim sum from someone that they don't lose their points, though, right? They do. Oh, mean. That's a mean card, yeah. That's All mean. right. Mm -hmm. You know what? 
I'm just gonna eat what I can eat, so I'm gonna get <laughs> I'm gonna get this one. <laughs> okay. Nice. <laughs> one tiny chicken feed for one point. <laughs> two points. Well, two points oh, because yeah, two you points. got a Yeah. 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 So yeah. So there's only one basket left. So oh, let's dear. see if Tony can do it. Um, oh dear. No. <laughs> no <laughs> Grandpa, I don't okay. know if you've seen what I have right now. <laughs> 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 I called dibs and everyone ate the shrimp dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> I blame the tricky rabbit. Yeah, yeah it's the rabbit that took all the shrimp dumpling. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm, I'm done with my turn. Very rude. Yeah, and you know, fortune does not favor the board. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm thinking, you, you know... Hmm, crackers. Mmm, <laughs> bread. <laughs> mm, <bun>. Oh, cookies. <laughs> oh, <cookies>. boba. <laughs> oh, pocky sticks. <laughs> That's a good one. I will use that one. I like that. Oh, pocky sticks. <laughs> Nabbit. Like now I can't. <laughs> okay. Uh so I'm not going to be able to get any of these beautiful basket trees, but what can I do? I can we'll do what can I do? What can I do? You have you um, have any cards that says like uh, repeat the previous person's uh, uh or repeat a uh, card from the fortune card deck? Maybe you nope. can do this one. Oh, okay. I could draw um, a fortune card. You can draw a fortune, my fortune card. Yeah, increase your fortune can also help you balance your tokens. Point. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, I think I can. One, two. What you got, Panda? Six. What? What? Don't nine. look at me. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. I'm hey. not the one in the lead. It's Grandpa. I Go after Grandpa over there. He's still <laughs> I love zone. you when I want to look at you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, then I will draw a card and then a. We'll play a card. There you go. This okay. gets me one sympathy point. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nice. yes. Yay. Sympathy points. <laughs> <laughs> You're right behind me, Monique, though. Even though I, I ate a lot, like I'm I'm still behind. Okay, let's roll this dice. Not for long. I've played let's games go. with you. <laughs> <laughs> we shall see. I think grandpa might win. So I can rotate the turntable. I don't think I want to. Well, you'll have to because you rolled it. Oh, line. I have to. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Then I'll rotate it this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm going to draw one as my first action. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What does this say? Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Interesting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. I think this. Okay. So we might have one. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I am going to rotate it back. Excuse me, ma'am. I had that set for no <laughs> o'clock. <laughs> I, I put it back, ma'am. I put it back. Okay. So. <laughs> I don't really want to draw a token because, you know. Uh, okay, so does the game immediately end or do we finish the round? We finish the round. Okay, okay. Oh, mm. well, but, 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 but you are the last player. So if you finish that uh, steamer, then the game ends because you're the last player of the round. Right, 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 right. Okay. So. Um, I forgot you have a mean card. So you might have a. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I do have one more action. Um, yeah. yeah, but the bunny is not. The bunny is way over here. It is the the grandpa saying do it, but grandpa is winning. So <laughs> <laughs> the poor little Listen bunny. Listen to your elders, panda. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So okay. So I cannot we wait do to play keep, the grandpa. 
we do keep our uh, steamer baskets, like the ones that we have, because there yeah. is a card that says, depending on the number of steamer baskets we've taken. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so we too, do yeah. need that. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, uh, I want to draw another card, but I can't. Uh, I don't really want to. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything. Uh, <laughs> because Sounds I might like end up. Kid. I know. I don't want to. Uh, okay, so I will take this then. I'll take some chicken feet. Okay. okay Have you seen the Pocky for Men flavor? Is this like a what? parody what cartoon? The, what no. the hell? Joke? So what is the men favorite? <laughs> I know, like, I, I know. how is it masculine, the flavor? I don't know. I'm looking it up on YouTube. <laughs> okay. The <gasps> lowest point player rolls. The die players cannot take the tokens shown on the die from the supply during this round. <gasps> oh, no. So, oh, no. No nobody meat bun. Can, okay. No beat bun. Wait, no meat bun. Yep. No yeah, wow. There we go. But it's okay. Oh, you guys ruined my plan. It's so far away. <laughs> we did it. Good job. Good job, everyone. I oh, know. Okay. <laughs> I will have to draw a fortune card. Um, uh, unfortunately, it's kind of useless for me, but that's okay. I will rotate turn the table. Yes. And um. I'm kind of messed up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's okay. I will play a card and I will leave it out until it's triggered. And it says that if I gain two points, if I have two columns, so that's fine. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, but now you can rotate it again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Joe says uh, Pocky for men is like regular Pocky, just slightly thicker. Um, yeah, that's interesting. It's just pocky. Ew, interesting. What? <laughs> thicker pocky. Apparently, men need a thicker pocky stick. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Keep it a PG thirteen, people. <laughs> I, never, I like. I just. I think I like. I don't. I mean, why? Just. <laughs> Who knows I always you? like Who to knows? eat them in pairs because I like. <laughs> oh, oh, you just say <laughs> <so> <laughs> If I if I get men's pocky mm -hmm. sticks, would it be like getting H E double pocky sticks? <laughs> ah, but I'm from. You're good. You're good. Uh, it's my turn, right? Yes, uh, I was. Yeah, okay. I was way too excited to make that joke. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, what do I do? Tom, uh, okay. you can't my I'm gonna guess. draw a card. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a card. <laughs> I love that Tom. I didn't even know Tom was still there, and they show up right as I make the pun, just to go <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so I draw a card and play a fortune card, so I can move a steamer to an adjacent stack. So okay. I'm gonna move this. Oh, oh no! <laughs> okay, Grandpa. Uh, yeah, and then I'm what done. Happened? So oh, no, my card it. allowed me to uh, my card allow me to uh, move a steamer to the adjacent stack. And you can oh. rotate. I could, but uh, I won't. I won't rotate. She's already me. Already moved one. That's okay. <laughs> so that's my turn. Okay, Moni. Money's thinking hard. I am. <laughs> I was like, is she, she's not present. Is she? Okay, good. <laughs> no. uh, Joe says eating Pocky in pairs is definitely big Pocky energy. Yep, yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. We're going to try this again. We're going to get a fortune card. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're going to flip a fortune card. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. So I'm going to discard this fortune card and one along with it to gain two happy points. Hardy yeah. points? Heedy, nice. heedy, heedy, heedy points. What is it, Hardy? Hardy. 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 I like that. And uh, 
people ask why hearty point because dim sum sum means heart oh. like a little translation touching the heart as well do you want to oh. rotate the 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 board uh sure yeah good job. Rude. why are you giving <laughs> pauline all these points <laughs> um I wasn't trying to. I picked at random and I don't know. <laughs> no, that was the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have no idea no. how to predict which way these things are going to turn without a lot of forethought. So I have to just kind of turn at random and hope for the best. <laughs> Sounds like the, the pick is a naughty kid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's it's I I'm not great at figuring out which way something's going to go like clockwise counterclockwise that's yeah. not my intelligence. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, no. oh. oh no! You can move any to any so oh, it, look no. anywhere. Yeah. Wait wait what? <laughs> yeah, so you can rotate two times. So, yeah, 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 you you did it right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Why did you yell at me if you were going to do that anyway? I didn't want to do that. I That's didn't not very nice. To... <laughs> I didn't want to. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay. But the monkey can't buy yet. <laughs> I know. It's rude. Oh, no, she can buy. Oh, no, she can't no, buy. She can. She's sure. so close. Um, I'm she... gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I know. I'm going to take one. I'm hoping the monkey can finish it. <laughs> I then, know, I was hoping too, but then Monique thwarted my <laughs> plan. <laughs> and you can I, also rotate again if you like, because you yeah, can yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, sure you don't do. rotate. You can still Look. rotate, you know, you can still eat. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my area. I'm not going <laughs> to rotate. <laughs> and that's the end of the round. Now we can buy meat buns again. Oh dear. Okay. Each player rolls the die. The player with the highest number draws two fortune Ooh, cards. Nice. That's two. Okay. Oh, that's a point. Yeah. How fortunate. I have a three. Now you have to oh, beat dang. a three. Okay. Okay. Let me roll. I have oh. a two. Okay. okay. I'm still leading. I'm still leading. Yep. Yep. I need okay. fortune cards. I need fortune cards. <laughs> And no, so you don't. Death... No, you don't. Yes. Oh, good. Okay, one more. One more. One more. I still think death six. should trump three. No. Oh, I got a three. <laughs> roll off. Okay, roll off. Come on. <laughs> no. Flake. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Come on, no. girl. Flake. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good job. You get it. <laughs> you won a two. You remember last time you drew out, you had a two and you still won. Yeah. This is great. This is great. I like that this is a gambling game. This is awesome. <laughs> I mean, maybe not on purpose, but in my brain, watching you two go head to head, that was fantastic. I'm like, I got two dim sums on Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, what okay. does dim mean? Uh, touching. Touching and then some heart, touching the heart. Small, smite, small bite size dim sum or food to touch your heart. I want someone to love me the way that someone who named dim sum loved dim sum. <laughs> <laughs> just, okay. just, 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 just imagine. You just like, you're just like, just, I love what you make. What is, yeah, well, yeah, I, I like it. It's dim sum. <gasps> <laughs> I think they were probably trying to touch the, the royal's heart so that they don't get on the chopping block. <laughs> You know, so yeah, that they don't true. get beheaded <laughs> if the food's not good. I like my version. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was very romantic, and all of a sudden, it just <laughs> <a> reality hits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's like historical accuracy, version, and then there's romantic history. <laughs> yeah. Usually, okay, I prefer the historical accuracy. Okay, go, okay. funny. I think mm -hmm. I will lose. So on <laughs> on the safer side, this is what I will do. I will uh, play a fortune card, mm. and it says uh, give up to two tokens to another player. Oh, oh no, dear. that's okay. It won't be any of the. Oh, I think of the monkey because a monkey is at, can win. So I will give you a white, and I will give you a, another white nope no let's see should i give you a green or yellow 
I'll give you a green because you can't buy, right? <laughs> yeah, you can't buy. Okay. Hmm. That's my first action. And then my second action, I will draw a fortune card. There we go. I've changed my mind. I don't want to be someone's dim sum. I just want to make <laughs> <a> dim sum. <laughs> I want to eat your dim sum. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, like, I'm okay it. with eating it too, but I just really want to make it now and be like, I am touching all of your hearts at once. So <laughs> now you're all belong to me. And like, I know that sounded like really sweet, but like, honestly, it just makes no. me sound like a really cool Baba Yaga witch. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I did not hear sweet at all. I heard Baba Yaga <laughs> loud and clear. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. This is okay, how I'm okay. going to become Baba Yaga. I'm going to make food that steals the hearts of the evil and the wicked. Okay. I'm going to do this. I am going to take a token. Oh. Why do I take a token? Yeah. Uh, because I am going to play this card. card. Yeah. I'm going to. So I'm going to take the last fortune card from the discard pile and play it immediately, which uh -huh. is give up to two tokens to another player. Oh, I'll give is it me? to the bunny. Oh no! <laughs> I'm in last place already. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I need to do this to the bunny. <laughs> I'm so cute. I'm so cute though. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm I'm done my being mean. <laughs> okay. Okay, oh. now it's Monique's turn. Yes. Tom says, Monique, if you make dim sum, send it his way. And he'll forgive you for all your puns, all your pen, uh, pen pastries. How about this? I will still make dim sum and send it your way and double the amount of puns I make. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, all right. Momo, what are you going to do, my dear? Wing it. Yes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, had I just taken some food tokens the last few rounds, I would have done way better for myself. But that's not how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how you fly, since you're winging it. What? Never um... mind. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> that's fantastic. The pun went I'm flying a over her head pigs flying i know your joke landed like after i started processing this card and then i'm like wait is this worth anything to me <laughs> i don't think so so for my next trick yes i'm gonna get me one of these little these little bows interesting uh -huh. oh. bow 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 all right good i'm done you're done okay mm -hmm. so can you tell me if i play a card can i rotate before doing the cards actions or do i have to rotate after finishing uh, the cards action? you have to do it after so you do the cards action and then the bracket icon which is optional which is rotating okay 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 mm -hmm. oh the dice <laughs> oh. the dice is not in your favor today it is i not. love panda okay. rage noises <laughs> oh dear oh rude 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 rude, rude. I want to do this though so you much. You can purchase. You can buy it. I can't. Yeah, you can no. grab a yellow token and buy. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm gonna grab a yellow token. Uh, uh, um, yeah. ah, nope. Ah, give me. Okay, then I'm going to um play a card. Okay. Which one was I was gonna card? Oh no, I'm not gonna take that. Sorry, Mulligany. I understand yeah. now. Okay, okay. I'm going to play a card. Mm -hmm. Um it's the one I stole. Um it says choose a type of token, oh, no. authors get it. Yes, and then I become the star oh, player. No. Oh no, I don't yeah. need more tokens. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're all gonna get some some sound my Okay, the yellow one. The yellow okay. token. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's okay. One saw my for you, and one saw my for you, and one saw my for me. Wait, what are tokens at the end? There, what are they? Point minus. Uh, minus one point, and then They're I'm going minus, to rotate. Wait, why did you give me all of them? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh well, I'm sorry. I can give you all the ones. Grandpa, <laughs> we each get a token. Oh, I'm I was trying to give you minus <laughs> ten thousand points. <laughs> my shaky hands. Okay. Okay, so that's the end of the round. Okay. 
Ah, nobody wanted to look at the last thing. <laughs> you guys have so many Wait, tokens. Oops. I did oh. not do that right. Oh. What happened there? Did I do that right? There you Is go. it that one? It's this one. Okay. okay, cool, cool. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm just going to put that on top. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Each player rolls a die. The player with the highest number now becomes the first no! player. Yes, <laughs> we have chance. We have oh, chance. Dear. Oh one? dear, I got a one. Want want. I got a no. five. No, Pauline got a five. No. Oh, I got a five. Five again. Okay. Yep. Nope. Two. Okay. So. Oh here. wait, I, I roll. I hit the wrong button, but it's yeah. Oh yeah. 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 They've, they've, they've Monique, girl. Monique, re-roll. Re-roll. Okay. I'm sorry. I hit the F and not the R. <laughs> I was like, why did it not uh, go up in the air? Okay. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> roll off. Blank. Blank. Yes. Okay, oh. I'm good with that. I'm sorry. Give me one sec. Oh no. Yeah. Okay, I I don't have to go. Okay, cool. cool. <laughs> what I, did I, I get? Know. Oh, Pauline. I get become the first player. You become the first player. Yes. Oh, I don't Pauline. know if I want that. Oh my god, what did I do? Uh, I'm in a sticky situation here. I don't know if I want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Okay. Come in. Okay, I take so I took a fortune card. I'm gonna play this card then. Okay. So I'm just gonna take a dim sum from my nice. Piso, nice. Which is uh I'll just take any random one. No, you should take the sticky rice. Take the sticky rice. Not necessary. No, I think it's great if you take the sticky rice. <laughs> oh <laughs> Okay, so I'm done. I'm done with my turn. Okay. Moni. Okay. Okay, I think Hi, yeah. Collected Camel. How was your game with uh, Mandy? Who won? Let us know. Let us let us know. Ah, but dumb from sorry. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to save that for next turn. And you then think I'm there's gonna... a next turn? Very nice. If, if there's a next turn. If there's a next turn. I mean, I, I anticipated <laughs> the game would end a lot sooner. Yeah, me too. Okay. So, <laughs> me too. So I'm thinking, like, maybe there will be one more turn and I can do that thing. <laughs> okay. Are okay. you done? Yes. Okay. Oh, wait. You rotated it? Why did you effing rotate it? <laughs> what the hell are you from? <laughs> Give me the chaos. Roll the die. Roll the die. Give me oh, the Oh, you're lucky now. Yes. Six. So I can, I can move the steamer basket, right? Yay. Yeah. Okay. Move it anyway. Give me back this over here, <laughs> ma'am. And then I'm going to go ahead and play this card. This okay. says, um, I get to purchase a steamer for nice. the number any tokens but the same number and i have five right here thanks to a certain bunny <laughs> who decided that she wanted to give me all these minus points oh no. no i am going to get this i want the monkey cool. might win because of that uh yeah. maybe maybe we'll see okay um okay. so i get sorry let me i think the monkey will bit. win for sure yeah i got two Oops. Ah, dear. Okay. So that was a good move. That was definitely a good move. <laughs> I'm like, you're gonna try and give me minus ones. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some lemon out of lemonade. Okay. Uh, See, so and you got you yelled four. at me for nothing. All I what? did was rotate the table. <laughs> but hey, if I didn't, I did. If I didn't roll right, that would have been very, very rude. So that was uh, eight. You're fine. Ten. Yay, nice. I get 10 points. Oh, dear. Okay, it doesn't matter. Here. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. And I still have an action, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna draw a card just because. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then I'm going to rotate the table. <laughs> there you go. That, that's okay. It's still my. Uh, so she oh. triggered the game to end, so I can still mm -hmm. do my two actions. My first action is I play a fortune card, which says take one token of my choice, and uh -huh. I will rotate. Yes. And now I'm gonna purchase. Oh, yes. nice, nice. Woo 
Oh, thank goodness. I don't want to minus so many points there. <laughs> and then, um, oops, I am going oh, to do my bunny thing. Hold on. Two, four. And I will swap out this uh, sticky rice with a meat dumpling. Nice. That gives me six points. Five, six points. And then I finish my turn. So the game in. And then we do our final tallying now. So every four, every two fortune cards, you have one additional point. Okay. And every token left on your board, you minus one point. Okay. So you do all your calculation. I will minus two points here. One, two. I, I have I, no tokens. Ha, I ha, think ha, the ha. monkey monkey had to uh, declare as a winner. I think so too. The naughty child <laughs> has eaten all the dumplings. Did Monique uh, minus her points yet? No. No, I did not. I'm sorry. This is minus one of these. Yeah. Yeah. So it's five so points. Five. And then, but then she and has then, three. Yeah. I have three cards, and those are worth so, one. No. So be five. minus four points then, yeah. right? One, two, three, four. Yeah. All right. That's the end of the game. So Woohoo! The winner yeah. is the monkey, the naughty yeah. kid. <laughs> See, I knew you'd make it, Panda. <laughs> now you get to do the dishes. I know, yeah. I do get to do the dishes. Here you go. I'm That's giving good. you all yeah, the yeah, you <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> That was so much fun. Oh my god, that was great. That was this is a lovely game. I'm really excited about it. This Thank you. It's another uh, cute but mean game, which is hilarious too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like it's, it. it's not as it's not that mean compared to like uh some other games I think I've been playing more recently where I'm like, holy crackers, how do yeah. I have friends after this? <laughs> <laughs> I completely agree. I completely agree. Um so everyone so, uh -huh. Oh, I, I wanted to point out because uh, in this game it is family friendly. So um in the rule book or uh, in the real uh real when you play the physical game, there in the cards you'll notice a little star icon. So it's similar to some games, like you can actually remove it from the game to have a much friendlier uh, uh, game. So like, you know, oh, that, okay. that mechanism where you remove a dim sum mm -hmm. from someone's player board or you take someone's yeah. token, you can remove those. We do have an icon. Um, ah, in oh, the bottom. See. Bottom. Yeah, in the bottom corner. In the player cards. If I am uh, not helping you. I'm sorry. <laughs> let's see here. I, I got it. It's one. right here. Oh, okay. Right. That one. No. It was this one. This one. Oh yeah, so then if you notice on the bottom left hand corner, uh, bottom right hand corner beside the number, there's a star. So there's only like I think five or six mean mean cards, like the tick that mechanism, which you can just remove it from the game, and it'll be a much friendlier game. So. Oh, that's so awesome! I like that. Yeah. 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 Oh so, yeah, James. Holy crackers! I'm looking at you, Brew. Yeah, Brew is um a <laughs> very take that game. I should say. I don't like saying mean anymore. I'll say take that. But um, yeah. thank you so much, Pauline and Marie, for joining us and teaching us the game and playing. That was so much fun. I have put the links uh, to their link tree on the bottom of your screen and also into the chat. So please check them out um, on all the socials. Check out their game. You can go ahead and schedule a uh, demo of the game yourself as well um, through um, their social media links. As, and thank you to Monique for joining us and playing along. I asked also put her links into the chat. Monique is an amazing streamer and TikToker and Twitch and everything. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you should follow her everywhere. Thank you so much for all the people in the chat. Uh, sorry, not sorry. We got you guys really, really <laughs> hungry. I hope you all can go eat right now. Thank you to all the lurkers. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Does anyone have anything else they would like to say? No, thank you for teaching me the game. This is fantastic. I can't wait for it. Thank, thank you, you for playing with us. Thank you for having this wonderful feast with, with us. We really appreciate the opportunity to have it. Yeah, and follow Amanda and, and Amanda Panda Monique. and Monique if you haven't yet, please. <laughs> <laughs> I am I've learned so oh, much about my first oh. dim sum experience. I am stoked for it. <laughs> <laughs> now you're prepared to eat a real feast then. Yes. And if I don't, if if I mess up, I just blame Amanda. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Yes. Hey, Thank you. I'm over here trying to raid Book of Nerds and you're like put running me over with a
bus. Um, oh, I'm with sorry, a dim sum Amanda. cart, that's what you're. <laughs> Amanda would only make the dim sum experience. <laughs> I hope, so. I hope so. I I am very, very bad at rating. Apparently, yeah, you're fine. I'm just cleaning why. up the game there because I just realized um, I don't need to, but to it's go raid. habit. Oh, I can flip the table if you like. Oh yeah, let's flip it. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, can we watch the setup again? Oh wait, like wait, wait, just... wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, we didn't. I, they didn't see anything. Oh no. That's oh okay. no, no, I think they see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I see it on the other thing. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Amanda's like, I'm working. Did it? Did it? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> and we're like, flip the table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to produce this. <laughs> Sorry, Amanda. Okay. It's okay, Monique. Yeah, if you want to do the setup again, they're watching and while they're where you doing that, then I can go ahead and we'll raid into Book of Nerds, which is my uh, board game buddy uh, who's playing yeah. uh, uh, Cribbage and a different game. Yes. Oh, wait, did I you do the setup? Cribbage. Did it go? Yep. Yes. <gasps> it's so pretty. You can zoom in and so that you can pretty. see how the dim sum goes onto the steamer. What? That is so awesome. cool. That is so cool. There's your shrimp dumpling. <laughs> and a lot of uh, Phoenix Hall this time. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I don't know if it showed up on the stream, though. Oh, we'll see. Okay, so I'm yeah. going to have everyone right now. Bye, everyone. Go Bye. give some love to Tom. Thank Tong. you. Um, I hope it has worked. Thank you. And. Sorry.